of the greatest tricks the world and the devil has ever pulled is to, to get us to believe that we are fleshly beings with the element of the spirit. But we're spiritual beings with the element of the flesh. So if you can, if people can learn how to connect with the inner being, the spirit, and once you realize that you are a spirit, and if a disease hmm. can't touch your spirit, that means you don't carry the disease. So it's mind over matter. Your your body gonna listen to whatever the mind tells it. So if I'm a spiritual being, and if hmm. cancer can't touch my spirit, that means I'm cancer free. Cancer just living in my flesh right now. So exactly. So I just, you know, ask God to, you know, to to cure the cancer from the flesh so people can see his work. Because I know if I'm a spirit, I don't carry it. So that's why I'm able Amen. to maintain how I maintain. That's just me, you know. But, hey, I live, I smile every day, enjoy my wife, my kids, my family, my friends, and I keep going. You know, every day not going to be a good day. That's, that's for people with cancer or without cancer. So. I don't know. We lost another brother, man. Another teammate, uh, another friend, uh, a father, a husband. Uh, we lost Charles Griffin uh, to our UAB family, uh, to his family, to his wife and kids. Uh, our thoughts and prayers, you know, a witch. Uh, um, he lost mm -hmm. a long fighting battle to cancer, man. My man fought 2014 all the way until... Today. Long fight, man. Right. Long right. fight, man. Like a long fight. And, and at times, like, you know, you, you see my man and it's like, you know, he, he was so inspirational. Like, mm -hmm. my man would my man would uplift me. Right, mm -hmm. right. I used to share it and be uplifted. Like, man, if this man can smile, everything he's going through. Yeah. Like, what am I sad and down about? I'm seeing my man right. at treatments with a big smile on his face. You know what I mean? Right. Uh, I, that's how I'm seeing him, you know. We know that it was a battle behind the scenes, but... You know, to, to put on a smile and it never seemed like he was down and out. He just kept fighting and, and kept being inspirational. But um, my man, you know, he lost his battle, man. And now he don't really have to fight no more. You right. know, no more suffering, no more, no more pain. No more suffering. Rest he fought, man. He fought, yeah, he fought, he fought hard, the man. Time Commendable too, man. fight. And you said uh, in the bed um, or sick or whatever with a smile on his face. And that's how I remember him. Like, yeah. when I first met him, he had a smile on his face. Yeah. But before, the, yeah, I mean, you know what I'm saying? I always had a smile. Yeah. Always laughing, mm -hmm. joking. Always silly, yeah. Right. Having a great time. You never seen my man down, mad. Even, even when he wasn't in the best situations. No, no like, smile, like terrible situations. Anybody else have been pounding? Yep. Exactly. Nah. He was like, always positive, he, you know what I'm saying? So It was more people mad. For him, then, then he would be. Exactly. Man, to, that was always the I question. never heard him say, man, I need to be, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My, my dog, man, um, from Montgomery, uh, played at uh, Carver High School, then came on to UAB, um, played wide receiver there with us. Um, just a good dude, man. I met him and Killer about the same time, man. And, man, just a genuine good person, man. Just a good spirit, man. Mm -hmm. Like a good soul. Like, was always concerned about, man, how you doing? Exactly. How, your, how, you, how your people doing? How your kids? You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. always. I've no never, matter who it was. I've never seen him mad. Never. Never. Nah. Not one time. Nah. Mad, upset, down about Nothing. anything, man. All, right. all, I just remember the smile, man. I feel I feel bad for his for his wife and his kids, man, because he was young, man. Young dude, man. Yeah. So, yeah. Right. And then how great he was, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Man. Like Then he was a good dude, man, so... Love your people, man. That that's what that's the first thing that came to my mind was spouse and kids and family. Like how your family would feel if something like that was to happen to you. So man, yeah. just just love your people, man. Keep them close. Yeah, and stay positive. That's what I get from him. Yeah, right. And it's a good thing, man. Your brothers, man. Like you know, when something happened, the calls and texts that you get. Mm -hmm. um, I'm talking to McSwain. I'm talking to B. Reg. I'm I'm talking to Mark. Mm -hmm. um, Smoke hit me. Yeah, I'm sorry, of, folks. Of, I don't. Want, I don't. I. I just don't like to talk about stuff like that. So when they call, I ain't answer. I don't answer on purpose because I don't. I don't be knowing how to respond. When I like know, that, cause, 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 like, I hate that little cliche shit. You know. And I had just found out, like, immediately. Yeah, immediately. yeah like it was just in the mm -hmm. moment. So, sure. man, I talk to y'all later though. For... R.I.P. to my man, Charles Griffin, man. R.I.P. Grip, man. Good brother. Rest Damn, grip. grip. That's crazy. Right. Okay. I mean, we, we we say that, man. Grip our age. Right. Yeah. Our age. Yeah. Ball right. hog. Oh, our age. age. Younger. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And we, we, we've we lost brothers. We've lost, like, man, life short, man. We can sit around here bullshitting and 
and beefing with people unnecessarily and 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 not want to talk to your relatives and your loved ones and right. your friends over something that some bullshit probably for real right. and, and you times. don't get to apologize before right. something may happen and we talk about this a lot on this platform man right. you don't know when it's going to happen we we don't know how that's going to happen um but we got to show love and respect to one another man and grip always did that right. yeah no doubt man rest in peace my homie um damn Sorry we starting on a somber note, but, yeah. you know. But just had to. But it, it literally, can't. like, we're literally sitting in here getting ready to, to get ready to bring this podcast to you, and, and that's that's what we got. Exactly. So once again, man, you, you can't control situations, yeah. you know. And that, this, the podcast, Sometimes. y'all go through it with us. Exactly. You know? and, yeah. a, and a lot of people who listen to us are from that UAB family or personally knew this man, so mm -hmm. we, we going through it together. Right. Um... This week, man, just is a rough week. Tough week. Yeah. But uh, we recorded last Friday. Thursday. Thursday or Friday? So, was it Friday or Thursday? No, it was Thursday. It was, I don't even remember. I think it was it Friday. It was last Friday. No, it no, Friday. it was last Friday. It was last Friday. Yeah. It was last Friday. Mm -hmm. And fuck, we, we saw mass shootings. Right. Two. Two mass Two shootings. Up. Quick. Um, and our thoughts and prayers, man, want to go out to the shooting victims in uh, Dayton and El Paso. Mm -hmm. Um. That was crazy. To just see my man running down the street, letting off rounds with a with a chopper. I ain't watch it. Just just letting them off. I ain't watch it. I don't know. I still don't know. I, I saw the little personal know. videos mm -mm. and just man, like that sound is becoming normal. That sound from an AK. It's just you that can, popping yeah, sound. That thud. It's yeah. just you see the you see uh in El Paso, you know, uh they're you know saying that the reason behind what he was doing was uh, right wing shit, you know, like because he hated immigrants and he hated, like, what the fuck are we doing, man? Like, what are we doing? He don't know. Like, you see what I'm saying? Like, they, 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 they want to tell us to. I don't even want to go to that part of it. I, I just thoughts and prayers, man, to the family and the, uh, the people that are, that are affected to those communities uh, and and just to this country, man. Like, I, I don't know what we doing to one another and why we hate each other so much. Uh, why so much hatred? I know a lot of it, but I'm not here to talk about that shit right now. But um, we just need some healing. We seem so divided sometimes. And when you get excited about something and you feel like we on the up and up, then you see some bullshit like what you saw with these mass shootings, man. It's it's crazy. Man, when you feel like like you're doing good, like, and somebody keeps telling you, like, these people are so evil, mm -hmm. and you put that, that they put that, you know, dumb shit in their mind. Like, you don't know what people could do. Yeah. Because some people already hate. Right? Yes. For and, and you throwing the, fuel on the shit. People that follow Hitler probably thought they was doing some good shit. And that's the crazy thing, man. Because what, what's their reasoning for hating other than hearing Because they're being else. told, yeah. They're being told Say that it. these you know people saying, so are I'm... evil. And, nah, man, look. And that's, I, and that's I another reason why I don't, I don't like guns, man. I just, I don't know. Man. Especially in the wrong hands. I just, I'm just against it, man. I don't I, I'm against like assault rifles, but but I do I do have guns. I didn't play every Grand Theft Auto, every mm -hmm. shoot 'em up, bang bang, I've done every that. I've done every that too. gangster rap. Hey, yeah, that man, that shit ain't never led you I, to do nothing. I, I never. Yeah, man, I, I ain't mean to cut you. I know what I you don't going. even like to shoot. They got they got to cut that bullshit. Right. Yes, out. Right. they got to cut that bullshit out, man. I don't, right. don't want to hear uh, about. Mental illness, especially if that hasn't been a diagnosis. Right. Like in this case, if that's what he had, cool, whatever. But if you jumping out there saying that shit before that even comes out or before you even know what this person's know medical record on. is, it's mm -hmm. almost like you trying to make an excuse for somebody. Don't make an excuse for somebody in this terrorist. situation. That, that's, that's, that, you're a terrorist. Is. You're not a mental... You're a terrorist. You're a right? racist. Simple a racist like, you terrorist. Simple, you, yeah. you a racist and that's, that's the end of it. Like why, I, you, why are you mad at somebody for wanting a better life? <laughs> Why you mad at somebody for just wanting to be? Like these folks ain't bothering like you, fool. At, at all, man. at all, bro. Mm -hmm. Like you so mad, you got so much hatred at somebody who ain't even thinking about you. Like they're just trying the same way that your hatred is, and that you want to do something better. They want to do something better. Even worse than that, you hate somebody who's simply okay with you. Yeah. They probably a few of them probably spoke to you on your way yeah. up there. Like hey, how you? They just trying to stay out your way. Yeah, exactly. for real. Right. Yeah. Just like you saw the um, you know. Not the pivot, but the mass shootings in South Carolina. Those church people will welcome him. Hey, come on in. God bless. Join come us. on in. Right. right. And you hating these people. You know what I'm saying? Like this shit crazy. Like it's just so much hatred, man. And that it just it's crazy. 
I, I don't know what you do to to repair that, what you fix it, but I do know that it it you have to start getting some kind of voices from uh, a, a higher platform that can trickle down to some of these people, to and tone down yeah. some of this shit. But I don't know in today's climate where you're gonna get it from. Man, we gotta start taking stuff more serious because because one of the guys. Uh, Girlfriends was like, yeah, it was red flags everywhere. The other guy's mom actually called, called the, police. the police. She sure. called the police they, and they warned said, him. Yeah, they and said that there's not really nothing they can really do, do if he hadn't if done he, anything. He got a gun. He because, got it legally. Because, That's what they said. Yeah, I think they said because I think like the FBI, uh, even in these chat rooms that be riling them up, they can't stay in it for long. Uh, something, you know, it's like crazy rules, you know, for our, you know, freedom or whatever. But nah, man. If somebody on the list, you need to be watching their ass all the goddamn time. Yeah. You will watch a drug dealer, go watch their ass. Right, and you're not gonna make me believe that you can look overseas and just have somebody on a terrorist watch list, and somebody here in your own country, you don't, you have no earthly idea that this person has this shit up their sleeve. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're what not they gonna say, persuade me. To yeah, that otherwise. yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. And man, I mean, I, I mean, not to say on man, we just love guns too much. I think for every one person. It's like three guns in America. Like why every Wait like kid, ba- why why everybody need three guns? Like I don't we just need, have too many. Like I don't, our culture, I don't need the one I have. So I you have that. one, protect your house, one. But every one person in America is mm-hmm. three guns, and that's the craziest shit in the world. Yeah, um, and a lot of them people can't have guns, so. The numbers that's are really worse. illegal guns, right? And and so the numbers are probably worse than that. Yes, probably technically ten guns to one person. Right, yeah. some shit. Not I, counting people in jail and shit like that. Yeah. Right. Again, our thoughts and prayers uh, go out to the victims um, in Dayton, Ohio, uh, and El Paso, Texas. Man, um, crazy. Um, Ooh. I know we started off rough, man. I, I don't know where we pivot from now, man, but Shit. the intro. We we still gotta do that, huh? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, man. Like, well, let's get to it. You're tuning in to the Dummies Podcast. I'm Stock. I'm Joe. I'm Toad. And I'm motherfucking Hootie, nigga. And uh, we back like we never left, cause like we say every week, we never leave. It's episode 46, August the 8th. Uh, we recording again on a Thursday. You bitch you. Um how y'all feeling, man? I, I, shit, I know, I know how y'all feeling, but I'm trying to pick myself up, man. I yeah. feel myself a little down, but I'm trying to pick myself. Up. Uh, week was good. Week was good. Week was long. Week was busy, and it's still only Thursday. Still more days to go. Uh, but you know, everything turned out well, man. Man, as well about, as it can. Yeah. Before, about 45 minutes ago, it was you know pretty good uh, yeah. week. Yeah. Y'all some mm, fucked up news. Uh, but yeah. Pretty good week. Some stuff hard to recover from. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, and this is kind of why I like this platform because not only do we get to talk about, you know, the, st- the stuff that, that bothers us or that affected us throughout the week or death and things like that, but mm-hmm. um, sometimes, we get to use each other to kind of bring ourselves back up out of this. Right. Sometimes we will be a little narcissistic and talk about what's going on in our lives. <laughs> it just happens. My bad for saying how my week was. Huh? <laughs> right? Yeah, I ain't mean to tell y'all. You know Look, my boy, what are you laughing at? That shit, that, <laughs> that shit ain't funny. That's my friend. Yeah. <laughs> Bestest of friends. Yeah. So how your week was, man? <laughs> the week been good, man. Real good. Really, really good. You know what I'm saying? Aside from, like you said, that news we got beforehand and the mm-hmm. news in Ohio or wherever in El Paso, you know, just kind of take your mind away from it and yeah. focus on your surroundings and the people that you're close to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Stay close to you. Right. I we're felt like my week, man, I felt like I just been frustrated all fucking week. I don't know what the fuck going on, but I <laughs> I just been frustrated about a lot of different shit. Like, everything been, like, you know how you just have one of them times where everything just make you mad? Yeah, I had one of them weeks. I, I, we have those sometime too. Yeah, like I guess that's our week that. But I wasn't like displaying it, but like everything. Mm-hmm. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I say that too often. Shut the shit up. Shut the, <laughs> I hear that shit. <laughs> I say that shit a little too often though. Just, <laughs> all well, yours is head. fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. Same thing. Yeah, but it was definitely, <laughs> definitely one of them weeks, man. It was tough to get the news today. You know about grip. It was tough seeing you know all that we saw on TV. Mm-hmm. Um, but all in all, man, we're gonna keep. Keep pushing, man. We're going to keep, you know, uh, going through the best we can. Man, I got uh, 
shit. I, I forgot. I thought I, I wish I would have did it before the uh, intro. Oh, but the uh, the ice raid in yeah, uh, Mississippi. Oh, yeah. oh God damn, man! Don't make me go back, bro. Yeah, I mean, man. Yeah. That that was that was that was that was sick to see. Like, uh, what was it's it? Six hundred and eighty people mm-hmm. were deported. Workers or, 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 or raided and captured by ice. Yeah. And six hundred and eighty. That was a, a record. A record. Good job. Be, I saw the um. Be proud. Be proud of yourselves for that. I had a question about that. that. I saw today that um. They they released like three hundred of them. Yeah. So that's a plus, but still not enough of them. Yeah. And, and I have a question about that. It was like, the when first they, day of school. Not the first job, day, but it yeah. was the first Shit, day of school for those crazy, kids. And then bro. they get their parents get raided, and some of those kids didn't even have their parents when they. Just imagine your kid right. five years old or six years old, maybe getting off the bus or something, and there's no parent no, to greet right. them. Look at all the pictures that all the parents been taking first day of school, mm-hmm. and then you come home as a kid first day of school, you happy, and you find out your. Parents are gone. Right. Yeah. What you was about to say? Who? I didn't mean like, to cut some, I forgot. But some of them had to stay at the school. <laughs> um, they had to, like, other, other, some of those other parents had, had to feed those kids because they, like, yep. some just they cried said all strangers night, and man. stuff. So that, that's a tough situation. Um, we, but I did, I did, like, I did see the, um, 300 of them were released. And my question about that is does anything happen to the employer? Like if you if you're hiring six hundred illegals, or does anything happen to those employees, or does just those probably, people? I mean, probably get a fine or something. A, a, um, release, so maybe they wasn't. They get a we fine. don't know if they were illegal. They were rounded well, up. Then the the right. three hundred they kept, right. or however many they kept, um, or if you suspect these employees of that, what happens to the employer? They probably get a fine. A fine, yeah, that's probably it. Yeah, you take a slap keys. on the wrist. Yeah, you it? take the workers away from the kid. Yeah, it, it's and crazy. then it's in Mississippi, bro. <laughs> what that mean? Like, ain't nobody flying to move out of that motherfucker. Like, I ain't I'm not going to, I ain't going to do them like that. <laughs> like, but I'm not going to do them like that because the, the, way, the way people look at Alabama, they, I, I've been places, you Alabama? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, and we know what going on down here. So Mississippi yeah. probably the same way. But you got to be a terrible person, man, to plan that on the first day of school. They don't care. How do you make, how is that your plan? How do you know. manifest that in your head for that to be your plan? Man. I don't want to talk about them other <laughs> Let me get something fun. Hey, y'all remember um, when y'all grew up, y'all remember the, the uh, going over your homeboy house or going to your grandmama house? Y'all remember that cool room? Cool room? Yeah, cool you, can't, you room. better keep my goddamn door closed. <laughs> <laughs> Close that goddamn door. <laughs> but that shit used to be so loud, you come from outside and go in the cool room. But that room used to be ice cold with, that, uh, with the window unit in it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Boy, no, yeah. Oh, you go over your homeboy house and play the game in the, the game in the cool room? <laughs> oh, that was too loud. Grandma was <laughs> selfish as shit. Her grandma, you the only one could be cool. You the only one, yeah. No, and you know you only had that, that, that window unit. Shit. shit. My grandmama would sit in the hot kitchen, nigga. She didn't, they didn't need that. <laughs> my, the cold room, my grandma room, nigga. The rest of that bitch was hot. Nigga, them hey. No, no. A usually room, you... the uh, air conditioning unit used to be like in the living room, the dining, some, somewhere right there. It was mm-hmm. rarely like Man, can y'all room. can y'all imagine Alabama deep August with no AC back in the day like how that no, we so privileged we ain't too privileged boy <laughs> we got an AC and then you got day. six fans and still be complaining in the day y'all so, grandma had that room you couldn't go in hell yeah hell boy. yeah <laughs> it, it, tell you, that was an automatic whooping if you if you put a, a toe in that motherfucker <laughs> You could then, sit on the my couch. My girl put a lock on that bitch when she left, though, God the, oh, the, the, the little key I, lock. I had an aunt used to lock her room, though, boy. Like, it was like. Fuck, you got in there? What kind of bodies? Oh. <laughs> and that was one of the cool rooms. <laughs> like, like, they, and you used to put your little head under the door to try to let the little air come in. Hey, it was real. Grandma, I got something to say. You just want to put your head in the door just to <laughs> feel the room. Uh, <laughs> where, the, where the water? Hey, you go her room. Where the water? Where the refrigerator? Her, her, her shit look all heavenly. Got uh, <laughs> white drapes and ice and shit hanging out. You got to go up there in the front. It's hot in the motherfucker. Yeah. Sweltering with that old ass furniture up there, bitch. <laughs> And that, and you sit on that couch, it's been sunk in for about and, six years. And that bitch still got the plastic. With the on plastic on it. Right, plastic still on it. Oh, it was wrinkle at 12 years old. Get Don't fall asleep on that hole, bud. But you're going to be stuck to it. But. Oh, man. I know, I know what I, I. Oh, what you finna say? Not that. Y'all never got in trouble for walking in the kitchen when a, uh, the uh, cake was uh, baking? Oh, yeah. You gonna make my damn cake fall. Don't make my... I never see the cake fall. <laughs> Just for walking in the kitchen? Yeah. But you know, they my, used to think that. My homegirl baked cakes, and she said that's a real thing. If you walk you, in the kitchen? I think the older stoves, like, maybe. I, all I know is she said something about the cake a collapse. Yeah. 
from when, it, when it's rising, it, if you yeah, because you you vib- it's vibrating, it's moving it. So grandma yeah, was here. You know, probably old ass yeah, kitchen right. was built on stilts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so you actually making you know, the stove move? You, you, <laughs> you ever made the football or the basketball go up under the house? Oh, you yeah, ever had to be shit. the nigga go get it? Yeah, Ooh. multiple times. Right <laughs> that bitch always look like it was about to fall on your head. You always make the look. Cut. Get your hands under there. Get the. Boy. You can fit. Then I wish it was held up by some old ass bricks too. Yeah, Boy, that bitch you was didn't know what you. Man. You didn't uh. know what you was gonna get on that bitch. <laughs> It's a uh, 1995 dead squirrel up under that hoe. Snake. Yeah, lizard. Transmission. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. I got a question for y'all, man. I got a question. It was, it, was, it was some shit that came up in the group message earlier, and I, and I mentioned it a little bit earlier. And the fans, y'all can comment too. Do y'all think we're narcissistic for doing what we, what we do? Or, or in general. I think it's a two-part question. Well, I'll stick uh, in general. I think in general, but I don't think me personally in general. Yeah, but not with the podcast. I don't think so. I don't think so because uh, my thoughts are was like I was like, man, these niggas is fun as fuck. Mm-hmm. I would like other people to hear it. Mm-hmm. Not saying you know, you know how I feel about myself, mm-hmm. but I was like, I think it would be dope if we can transfer this to the podcast. Mm-hmm. So, what about your your personal outside of the podcast? You uh, think you're narcissistic? No. I don't. I I can see why people would say that, but I don't think I am because because I'm a big believer. Like I don't care who you are. I don't think I'm better than anyone, and I think that's the height of of it. So if I don't think, I'm think better, you're better than someone. Yeah, then I'm not either. If and, that's what it is. And like I said earlier, I, that's my definition of it. You uh, know? And like I said, like I said earlier, you know, I I do some of the shit has a little narcissism to it, but it was crazy because what what I. What I texted y'all earlier in, re- in reference to that it was like, it's crazy because we live in a world where people will call one form of communication narcissistic all while using another platform to express their narcissism. Mm-hmm. So you think that your opinion is big shit that you're willing to tweet it out to everybody because you want them to see your right. opinion. That's yeah. narcissism. Right. And, and your best picture, which is your profile picture. Probably. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's just no different than people like, man, you better not use putting your face all on the internet while you're using Facebook. Right. <laughs> while you're using Facebook. <laughs> Don't use your face That's on Facebook. That's what I'm saying. We've become a world of smart-ass dummies. Like, like, like y'all really thought that shit was so, so smart? People just, say. people just liking to have a problem with whatever it is you do. I'm learning that. Yeah, and, and, no matter and, what and again, all of this shit if you want to call it narcissism, fine. But everybody it, it has a platform, mm-hmm. and they they use it in some form of a fashion. If that's narcissism, then I guess so. That's why I try to place my hat on. Fuck that shit. It's like going to a press <laughs> conference after the football game. <laughs> hey, Hootie, uh, why did you throw that interception? Well, I can't Don't tell, tell you that. Because that's <laughs> narcissism. You know, I'll be telling you about me. It's my secret. I'm sorry. <laughs> my bad. Keep that to yourself. Won't do it again. <laughs> we don't want to hear your opinion, even though I asked it and yeah. watching you, so I can hear your opinion. I'm going to assume that Todd's a narcissist, uh, whatever the fucking word is, simply because he always looks in the camera on Instagram and plucks his fucking eyebrows. Well, see, oh, that, oh that, that's, that's, that's not being narcissistic. Yes, that's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. What being. is it? That's just you know having high self esteem. Yeah, I, I was going to ask that too. Is confidence seen as narcissism? It can. No, it, it the can. way he it, do it. it to think that somebody wants to see his line I'm, up every week. I'm, handsome. I'm, a, I'm a handsome yes. motherfucker. But think about it. Man, Any, look. Anything you post on social media. Right, that's what I'm saying. Anything you post is you think somebody wants to see it. You can trash? make an excuse out of everything. But what if it's trash? Like you post something on trash on purpose. I think we've always, I think I everybody's posted some trash shit before. Right. Yeah. On purpose? Not on purpose. Well, not on purpose, but so you if end you, up being So trash. that's what I'm saying. If you do it on purpose, is that narcissism? You could just be what? dumb. Yeah, you, you probably just <laughs> exactly I, to show you're not a narcissist. <laughs> I don't know. You going who six li- degrees? Who yeah. logic? <laughs> Give it to him, dead. <laughs> God damn, bro. you went deep with that one. No, nah, it doesn't make me a narcissist. It doesn't. I'm just. I just feel like I'm handsome. That's um. It. Yeah. Mm, okay. So, what's narcissism to you? I don't know. I, I don't think vote. this. I, I don't. I don't think this podcast is gotcha at all. I think we just. Put this thing together because we are gen- we are, we're four friends and we sit around and do this shit for free anyway. Well, mm-hmm. so we'll put it out to you and you can enjoy it as well. Let me play. Let me play devil's advocate. What they're basically saying to that is that you think that your opinion is so important that you want to sit up here for an hour and thirty minutes and people want to listen to you spew out and talk your opinion. Right. Mm-hmm. You got to be narcissistic to do that. That's what that opinion was saying. Well, I think people always want to hear. Me speak so. 
I, I just it, it, that, that is narcissistic. <laughs> it is. That, that but is if it's point. true, then it's not narcissistic. Like, like I, it, like what? Fuck that. That's why I try. <laughs> that's why I try my best to stay away from it. I do. I couldn't do it. So I try my best. If you go back and listen, so you, I didn't say so it one you, time. You can't be it if you can't say the word. Right. right. See. Yeah. Got you. Got you. <laughs> got you. Hey. If I thought I was the shit. I could say the word. Gotcha. Must I, not be. I like that logic. Mm-hmm. Um, I know something else that happened this week that I forgot to talk about. We went to uh, up there to the UAB game into the skirmish, man. We sat Go Blazers. Up there. It was dope. <laughs> Go Blazers. You know, uh, we sat on, you know, uh, Coach uh, Clark saw us over there. You know, he came, you know, V-Line over there because he saw me over there, you know. He... V-Line? <laughs> yeah, he V-Line. You, you, I thought you... it was B-Line. Huh? I thought it was B-Line. I thought it was B-Line too. But you got it. What's B-Line? Explain what B-Line is. I don't know. What yeah, that I don't is. know. Straight to you. Huh? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I just always thought it would be like. Right. How y'all gonna correct me if y'all don't know? <laughs> I don't know. I said I well, hey, thought. I'm, I'm gonna say it's V-Line. Y'all can say it's V-Line. I, say it's v-line. Wrong. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever the fuck the line is, he came straight over there, bitch. <laughs> he came straight on over. So we'll figure it out. I, either I'm gonna get dummy or one of y'all gonna get dummy. But it has to happen. <laughs> So, so I, somebody gonna get you. You know how I feel. Hey, nigga, it's feet. Let me show you. It was, Let me show you on it was, Google. It was, somebody wrong. It was a Greek word. <laughs> I don't even want made by Deuteronomist. <laughs> I don't even want to look to see if I'm the one. Somebody wrong. Nah, be wrong. But now nah, he came over there. and It was dope because he sat down. He he made a point to go talk to everybody. We, you know, he told us about the program and the status. Um, but we had to check in and say who your name was. And so I went. It was me, Mustaki Smith. <laughs> um, and 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 I went with Willie Edwards. <laughs> <laughs> they asked, can't get right his name. He said, Willie L. Ain't seen Willie in years. Ain't seen Willie. I was like, damn, that's the worst name you could have gave. You, you should have gave, like, you know, somebody else. Dude said, oh, yeah, I remember you. Did he? You, you look a little different, but yeah. I <laughs> damn right, you look different. <laughs> you like, yeah, I remember y'all looking the way you look in school. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. Dark skin, bald head. Yeah. <laughs> you grew, you grew no hair, goddamn. <laughs> you grew dreads and got light skin. But look, dreads got light skin. What was crazy was I don't know if you peeped this, but it, it was supposed to be for uh, alumni football player. My boy always comes with us. You know he was good anyway. Um, I think he really think he's alumni too, though. He he shit he honorary. I am. <laughs> but look, it was another nigga there, and 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 when they was filling it out, you could tell like he was starting to sweat because he was like, "Hey, what they doing?" <laughs> yeah. And I know I ain't. He ain't look like he played football. He was there with his little son, and that was dope to bring him out there and be around. But he was like, hey, what they doing? Mm. They got names and stuff. Mm. I noticed after he ain't had no name tag either. Yeah. <laughs> One boy had just snuck on in, but that was dope. So they could, opened could, it up. Was it only for alumni? Could people like him come in? or It was supposed it, to be only when for I saw alumni it, players. It, it, it didn't, I don't know if it said only, but it promoted it to alumni players. You know what I'm saying? But dope, dude came in, he was with his son, and that's dope. You get to see, right. you know, how often do you get to be that close to a D1 college football program? Um, I went, I took myself on a tour, um, and I and I walked around, you know, uh, seeing what was in there and, and just looking at the lockers and seeing how much they've changed, mm-hmm. uh, talking to coach and seeing their vision, man. It's, if you haven't been there, you're an ex-football player or something, go get your eyes on that shit because I need what they're doing here in Birmingham, even for the city, for those who support, man, support UAB, man. They got some shit going on over there. They really do. Man, it was... It was dope to me because, like, I never went to y'all practice. I wasn't no, you know what I'm saying, like that. But just to, just to ask stock, be like, man, y'all niggas had Gatorade? Like, fuck, man. They watered down some shit. No, they got, like, a, a big tent. Yeah. They got Gatorade on it. And in it, they got pickles and, and juice. And, like, it's a big... They got a tent? A big, huge Nigga, tent. we didn't have a tent. Fuck man, the Gatorade. It, the we didn't have a tent. <laughs> the tent was dedicated to water and shit. all the different things that come in over there. It, it was crazy to see. Yeah, definitely uh, dope to see. Uh, get your eyes on. Um, we talk about this a lot. I won't call this sensitive. I won't pass judgment on it or anything. But did y'all see that in Huntsville, in Huntsville, Alabama, um, that the city schools are starting to eliminate the valid? I can't say that shit. I'm uh, not Victorian. Finna say it. Who? Valedictorian. Valedictorian. That one and the say, salutatorian. Say, 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 say it? Oh, <laughs> and they got nothing to be in that valedictorian. No, that ain't it. See, that's why I didn't do it. Vala, nope, Double V. Won't get me. <laughs> um, but they're eliminating. Uh, they, they saying that they're getting rid of it. Uh, they would no longer recognize those people, uh, which have been traditionally given to the top two students in each class with a grade point average, uh, with the highest grade point averages in the class. Mm. Uh, instead, they'll basically use... Uh, uh, college terms uh, where more students will be honored for their efforts. Uh, don't colleges have valedictorian salutes? Well, no, they have uh, magnum cum laude. 
Yeah, so, the so they'll do it that way? Yeah. Yeah. That's the way they go into it. And I think that's, like, when I saw the headline, I was like, oh, this is the most sensitive. I right. mean, they but, don't want kids to feel But when bad. you think about it, that's still another way to do the same thing because this kid is going to have more patches or more robes or more whatever than that regular kid. Well, I guess yeah, what they're but, trying to do is honor more yeah. instead of just two. two. Because I'm with that. Because I, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. If you went through high school and got a, a, a 4.0, you deserve to get. I'm with you. Yeah. I'm okay. If you got a, I think it go all the way down to like three eight. Or but something. somebody still had a four point five. So what they say? So? Well, what they saying is students maintain an overall GPA of a four point zero and above will fall into summa summa cum laude uh, category. Uh, those with three point eight and above will be recognized as magna cum laude. So, so basically, more students can kind of get into that. It's still something to shoot for, I think. So I don't yeah. see it's so much being a bad thing. Mm-hmm. Take and it. then food, that take, I mean, that'd be a lot of stress though. Yeah, like, yeah. You, like you a super smart kid, you're like, mm-hmm. man, I need to be number one. Well, well now you be like, well, as long as I, I, think, I had a four point oh, well, I'm I think good. I think they'll still know though. Like, cause I think when you're doing that, you kind of still know, and they still probably put it out that you have the best grade point average in the school or some shit like that. So you'll still know. If you're at yeah. that smartest of the smartest of the smart. Yeah. I, I just saw that and, and wanted to kind of pick y'all brain and see what y'all thought about it. I got a question for y'all, man. This nigga. It ain't that deep, but it kind of is. Uh, it's something very important in our lives that we really go through all the time. Uh, Netflix. Netflix put in a, <laughs> as a contract. Yeah. Or just, because you can, this can apply to anything. It like can apply to TV shows. <laughs> TV shows. Uh, Netflix. <laughs> Help they're looking out sure. for they're looking out for y'all with established a co-watching contract. Um, in this kind, con- basically, it's for couples, and you have to sign. Would you? You may sign this contract. Uh, so there's five rules. Five rules. Uh, five rules are uh, no falling asleep. <laughs> I'm already uh, or, out. Unfortunately, no getting distracted by your phone. Uh, you can't continue watching the show without the other person present, and no talking during shows, and no spoilers. So my question is simply, would y'all sign this contract? Netflix, your day is a number. <laughs> some nigga coming up with anything. <laughs> you know how like the little kid, you try to make the kid go to sleep and they come up with anything? Mm-hmm. Well, I got uh, my uh, blanket. Is... I got to take eight steps. <laughs> I'm thirsty. <laughs> yeah, that's it, yeah. Uh, can I eat? Hell no, nah, you I, go to sleep. I got to clean my eyes. Netflix, <laughs> you about to go to sleep. <laughs> but apply that. Right, night, nigga. Apply that to but anything, no. anything, anything. Um, not just Netflix. Uh, I was signing for the uh, no talking, but you you gotta sign it for all five. I'm not signing. No, me personally, I can't sign. sign it. I'm not signing because, because when you go to sleep on the show, that gives me the right to keep watching because I know you don't really want to watch most of it anyway. So yeah. I can yeah. go ahead and go move. But forward. that means it just didn't capture your attention. But them, I'm not. I'm, yeah, right. but they they don't want to hear that. Yeah. Y'all ever be watching a show? And you be like into it, like you know, you come in, oh CNN on or whatever your shit is, and you trying to get your little thirty minutes in, mm-hmm. and they come in and want to talk. Yeah, <laughs> that and if you watch a show with them, like let's say you watch a show and Monday Night Football is on, that's when they want to watch their show. No, fuck that. <laughs> yeah. And why they get mad when you tell them shh? You ever hit them with the shh? Don't shush me. Shh. Oh boy, <laughs> shh, cause start a whole week arguing, nah, boy. <laughs> I just don't know anything, but uh. I do, I do get my twenty two minutes that I ask for for uh, PTI. All right, none. But uh, twenty two minutes. Twenty two minutes. I fast forward the commercials. Twenty two minutes. <laughs> gotcha. All I ask for, I get it. That's daily. Yeah, I got you. So boy. I get that. But man, if she go to sleep, I'll just, I'll just finish that episode because I don't want her to rewatch. It. Mm-hmm. It's nothing worse than rewatching something and have to. Act surprised. Oh man, I can't believe they did that. <laughs> and you're not ready to see that. I'm like, dang, look at this. Oh, that happened. Go ahead. I, I, I tell myself. You secret. ever got caught doing that shit before? Not maybe not just now, but just in general. Getting caught lying about not. Man, I got caught going to the movies twice. <laughs> you seen this before, ain't it? Nah, 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 nah. nah it's brand new, baby. <laughs> it's, cause, it's cause I didn't act shocked at the shock scene. I forgot. Like, yeah. damn, Bruce like, just got killed. Uh, I saw oh, that shit. Like that. I saw that already. You got shot? You've uh, seen this before. Nah, that's just some normal, <laughs> that's just some normal shit. I, I figured that dummy, would happen. Dummy, dummy. FBI agent. <laughs> they be uh, taught to uh, gauge your emotions, emotions and tones. Get your ass back. I'm, a, I'm shocked. <laughs> I'm appalled. No, oh my food. God, he died? <laughs> what the, the worst hell? thing, y'all both watching it for the first time. Like, What's no distraction. Happened? What happened? 
I don't, I don't know. know. Like, <laughs> we about to find out. We, yeah. That's when you hit we it with the shh. That's why we're tuning <laughs> in. Shh. <God damn> <laughs> be quiet. I don't. I just be quiet and be I like, know. huh? Huh? Uh, Let me tell you what Jessica. Act like I can't hear. Let me tell you what Jessica do in that situation. Like if you be like, man, I'm trying to watch it. Oh, fuck it, I'm gonna just go to sleep. Man. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Supposed <laughs> to be watching. Then get mad and go. Get mad and go upstairs. <laughs> fuck it, I'm gonna just go to sleep then. Good night. <laughs> you forgot I put this on because you. It be eight thirty. Good night. <laughs> Six thirty p.m. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, I guess you didn't want to watch this guy. Yeah, no. Let me you watch football me. in that case. Guys. That's yeah. why I love all my shows because none of them shit. Them shits is set up for. Not her ass, but and they they still give me. You started watching something without me. Yeah. Yes, because you wasn't gonna like. Not what I watch, buddy. CNN, baby, ESPN. She don't want to see nothing of that. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. That's crazy. Um, <laughs> Galveston, Texas. What's going on there? Shame, shame, shame. Did y'all see that? Uh, the uh, chief basically had to apologize after they were seen leading a black man uh, by, by rope. rope. <laughs> on a horse. <laughs> Dummy. Uh, it looked like a scene out of Django. Basically, you know, masters on the horse leading mm. Mr. Slave Man down, down the damn field. Uh, I don't know if y'all saw this, but basically uh, the Galveston Police Department, the chief had to come out and apologize for the officers who led him on horseback. Uh, somebody captured photos. Uh, it just, the times that we're in, maybe this happens in a lot of places. Maybe it's something that go on, but looks pretty fucking bad. And that shit don't have no way else, but. Galveston's Texas. I ain't never seen that shit. No way. Well, I'll, I'll admit that. that. I've seen I've seen it in New Orleans for the simple fact, like during Mardi Gras or something. Like with those horses, it's too crowded for you to get a, a police car down there. Yeah. But it was nobody around them. Nowhere. Why that you couldn't shit just call back? Disgusting. Up? Now, yeah. now, Hoodie, when you yeah. said that in uh, New Orleans, I I could see it because because of what you just explained. But it was shit empty popping street. in Galveston. Like you had time to call a car. It was an empty street. Like how long would it had took for a car? Like you wanted to do that, yeah. Like I'm no sorry, doubt. like like stop giving these folks excuses. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's just procedure. No, you wanted to have this black man trailing behind you on your horse. Mm-hmm. That's what it was. Trash. Trash. That shit. Like that shit. It angers you, though. It should anger you. I don't know. I like when I saw that shit. I instantly got mad. Yeah. Like I have. Like I have to. And that's part of the reason why sometimes I just don't watch the news. Most of the time, I don't watch the news. Because shit like that be the first thing you see. Like, you be like, okay, I'm finna go and try to watch this shit. And that shit pops up on your screen. Like, that shit angered me, though. Like, for real. Like It's hard. It's kind of hard to get away from that shit now. Because if you don't watch the news, if you on social media, you see it, you see it you somehow. See it. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, somehow the, the news is out there and it's crazy that we have to see shit like this on a daily basis, man. How the fuck do you even think that's okay? You gotta ask Like, you have to think. I mean, that's we see another, that shit all the time, like yeah. from Gucci and different layers. They put shit on there and they think that it's okay. And that's good. I, I don't know. I don't know why they don't have a meter that says that this is not okay. But they can. They continuously do shit like that's, that. And, and it's it goes back to all of that shit, man. Like the mass shootings. How do you think that's okay? That's I don't. I don't know, man. It it, it just a trickle down effect into everything they do. They think it's okay. And not to be racist, because I, I saw the. Uh, I, I had read the shit today or uh, yesterday, whatever that was. Today, I think. About the Chris Rock. They're mad at Chris Rock because they felt he made a racist statement. And <laughs> I asked, is it racist? Which I, I don't know if it's him who initiated it, but it was a social media post. Everybody saw it. The Betty White picture. Yeah. And I asked the question, like, is it racist if it's true? And what basically happened was they posted the Betty White picture, meaning that Chris Rock was saying, of the mass shooter, he bet he's white. Um, so is it true or is it racist if it's true? Well, a, a stereotype can't really be true. Like, you could say majority of black people like fried chicken. Mm-hmm. Well, majority of people like fried chicken, but not all black people like fried chicken. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So that can't really be true. But if it's majority, mm-hmm. I don't have no problem with it. Like, when we see these mass shootings, they're usually young white kids that, you know what I'm saying, unpopular, can't get girls. Show me the lie. There is none. Mm-hmm. Like, if you go back to history, goddamn, show me where they went wrong. <laughs> history. Until it's a black man shooter. Did anybody peep how uh, Todd had to wind that coming? That nigga got <laughs> did like this. <laughs> <first>. <laughs> that nigga <laughs> broke dancing and said, show me the lie. Stack that <laughs> 
Pop lock and chop. <laughs> Pop in my pancake, girl. I'm sorry. You look like you was finna go somewhere. But I was just like, show me a black mass shooter. Show me one. Where is he? They gonna go try the to DC find him. They'll go try to find him. Dallas. That I mean, wasn't a. I mean, anyway. that was, he was a serial killer. Right. I get that. That it, Dallas shooting went my man black. Yeah, well, who was shooting out with the cops and shit? Yeah, the AR. He was shooting at cops. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it but was, still, you still, say a yeah, mass shooter. Yeah. Don't move the goalpost. That's they'll one. They'll that's find one. Him. But I don't, I don't, know, I don't know if it's many that will go out into a bar and... But it's probably some. I don't know. I mean, we we got to respond to what you're saying with the Chris Rock. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know how you said it. But I, I just hate that, like, we have to... This might be naive, but I just hate that we have to talk about shit in color. Mm-hmm. Like... Use a fucking sicko. And the thing about it, think about this when you go do a mass shooting. Yo, let's just say you a hate group and you hate these kind of people. You might be killing people that look just like you. Right. Like you see what I'm saying? Like you like the they may even like believe like what you believe in, but you just sitting there shooting at them and like what's up? What's well, his and they know it is in Texas. You're right. You because sometimes I don't know, man. I can't say it's it, I don't know. I was going to say sometimes it's not racist, but that wasn't the question. What was it racist? Because sometimes they kill their own, like in Vegas or some shit like that. Like they just crazy. Like yeah, in, racist uh, or not crazy? Yeah. In uh, Texas, <laughs> you, 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 when you opening fire like that and you rapid fire, you don't, you ain't. Oh no, that's black. Nah, he from Nah, he from Oklahoma. Yeah, you not don't know. Mexico. You just shooting. So at the mm. end of the day, like you, you are you are walking contradiction for real. Mm-hmm. The one in Texas that was racist. Uh, South Carolina, that was racist. But like you said, Vegas, you're, I mean, you had a country. You, you know who's going to be there. It's I, white people. So I, you're just sick. I, I guess what I'm saying, too, like in... Oh, every, all of them is sick. Don't, don't, but... Right, right. No, no, no. But I guess what I'm saying, like, in El Paso, you're saying racist. But when you open fire in a public place, this country is not made of one group of people. Right. So even if you think you're opening fire on this kind of group of people, you probably might hit some people that... May align with you. I may right. agree with yeah, you. Yeah. You're, you're at Walmart. Mm-hmm. That's not... What color do you have to be to go to Walmart? No, no, but I disagree. Not, because, because... Tell me how. If you go... When it was open, if you go to the Walmart in Fairfield compared to going to the Walmart in Hoover, in Hoover Calera, Vestavia, you're looking at a totally I'm, different I'm demographic. Sorry, I've never been in any Walmart in any city and hood, and I've not seen different people. I'm talking I've never, about majority. I, it doesn't, that's my point. I don't... Majority. My point is, I don't care if it's 600 black people and one white person and you open up fire because you don't like black people and you hit that one white person. you stupid. When yeah. I seen this... Uh, uh, unless that's your... The cashier, the manager, somebody right. in there is yeah. of a different descent. You, I you're saw people... Unless your of, intention is to go in there and specifically kill Mexican people. Yes. I saw people of Latino descent in there. Those was the victims... Victims that I saw. Right, but... And, and he said that's why he was doing it. Listen, so he went to that Walmart because he knew that's where majority of listen, people listen would be. What, listen what I'm saying. I'm not denying that he did that. I'm not denying that his motive was racist. All I'm saying is Walmart is a public place. If I'm not from El Paso and I say, oh, I need to get some underwear. Let me stop at this Walmart. I remember um, one time in Houston, we stopped at this Walmart and they was like, oh, shit, this the... Hispanic side of town, this, 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 you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And we stopped. And we went in that Walmart. What if somebody came in there? Sh- they might have hit somebody that may have lined or agree with what they're right. saying. I'm not saying that I agree. What I'm saying is when you open fire in public, this country is full of different people. Yeah. You may hit somebody who might think like your dumb ass. I'm mm-hmm. not saying, I'm not saying that it's right. I'm not saying that That's his intentions, hard. his intentions was to hurt this group of people. But when you're opening fire in public, you don't know, like, who's at a nightclub? Anybody mm-hmm. can go right. to a nightclub. If you go to a gay nightclub, you, I, I, you can go. Because Eight be times real. out of ten, it's going to be probably more gay people. Question there. about that. I don't believe that. Question, question. You, you don't think there's going to be more gay people I know at Mar- a gay club? I didn't say that it won't be more, can't get right. You got to listen to what I'm saying. I'm not saying that it wouldn't be more. But what I'm saying is... I, I know people I know, Right Yeah, yeah. That's going with their cousin Or going with their brother Or going with their friend right. Or the married mm-hmm. chick Going out with her gay friend Or something like that And they get hit Because of some shit This stupid sick person did. Yeah mm-hmm. So that's the, all I'm saying Both of y'all right <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. well what I was saying was I agree that We don't know What he could That his intentions were sick mm-hmm. But what I'm saying is When you open up in public You don't know who you're hitting Because public is available For the whole public Question Guy, guy who killed his sister in Dayton, 
I don't, did do any of us know? Did he know that that was his sister that he was? Killing? I don't know, and they never reported on it. Like I don't know. I killed his I sister know. and shot her boyfriend. Yeah, that's sick, man. I don't... Along with seven other people. That's crazy. That's a little bit too much of a coincidence to kill your sister and shot. I mean, unless they was together, like like Stock said, just open fire. But that's, yeah, right, that, and that's kinda, why that's the whole reason I asked that. Too. You kind of have to <laughs> see that that's your sister. You can't not really. That's the thing. Not really. Not if you just going in that that's, bitch firing. You don't. I'm saying, and and and, and, and if, if you do, if maybe you saw the late. tape, if you saw the tape on CNN, they broke down the times of where they separated and he left and went somewhere. And so you come back shooting, you may not know where your sister is. Right. I, I don't know. I'm not. I'm using an, this as an example. I'm not talking about this specific case. You're opening fire. You're shooting. Rapid rounds, you got a 30, 40 round, 50 round drum on something, you just squeezing, you don't know who you're shooting. So at, at. some point he did know his sister was there. Yeah, I mean he he they, they came together. together. I think, oh yeah. damn. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So like, you know, that's that's what I'm saying. When bitch. you open up in public, there. you don't know what you you don't know who you're hitting. Right. That's why you 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 something ain't right with you. Man. I don't know bitch. how we get back to that, but that shit crazy. Something yeah. ain't right. Mm-hmm. Um what else we got, fellas? Well, I will tell you some good shit. Please Latoya do. Brown got out. Latoya yeah. Brown. Yeah. Big shout out to Big shout out, big out, to, shout out to the state of Tennessee for releasing her. Mm-hmm. Y'all may, if y'all don't know the story, um, Ms. Brown, she went to jail as a 16-year-old for murdering a 40-year-old pretty much sexual predator. Mm-hmm. After 15 years on lockdown, they saw fit That's for true. her to be granted clemency. That's dope, man. That's dope. And I think she's going to, I think she's going to, Succeed and be well because too many people know about this, right. not to help her out. Right. So, right. so, so that's dope. It's dope that she got released. Um, that shit has to be tough though, man. As a sixteen-year-old female kid going to jail with the intentions on maybe doing life in jail. Right. That's got to be tough. But I'm glad she's out. For man. something, yeah. thought you were defending yourself. Right. She, exactly. For defending much. yourself, not right. something. You did, but you actually were just you simply were defending yourself. Right. Defending yourself. You know so. Mm, like, never man. mind the man, the man that was 40. He, you know what I'm saying, having sex with a mom. Mm-hmm. Never and I think that he, like, <laughs> he was kind of like pimping out and shit. It's, he was yeah, a, yeah, a so. sex, she was in a sex traffic ring sex or something. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, yeah. Mm-hmm. The 40-year-old, he, he's the victim, though. The great state saying? of Tennessee, huh? There you go. Mm-hmm. But shout out to Miss Brown, man. Um, I hope this is the start of great things to come. I'm sure it is, man. She's still young, man. She still has a lot of life ahead yeah, of her. 31. She said that she wanted to do something that could help other people. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, it didn't go into much detail from the the thing that I saw, but it mm-hmm. just basically said that she wanted to do something that could help uh, change and affect other people's lives. So, in general, in the prison system, or just in general, I, 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 it didn't have much detail as to what she was talking about. It just said that she wanted to do something that would help others. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure people are waiting in the wings. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure a lot of people help. right Tell now want to help her. And yeah. All that kind of stuff. So yeah, Tell she it, probably should have, have a, you know. A straight life mm-hmm. after this. I mean, right. it's not worth it, but she probably gonna be okay. Yeah, yeah. she Hopefully. definitely. Yeah. I hope that's the case anyway. Yeah. And uh, another one too, man. Uh, the Brian Banks story, man. Did y'all see that? Yeah, I want to yeah, go see that. Come out. See that movie tomorrow, right? Mm-hmm. Come out tomorrow. The yeah, Brian right. Banks story. The guy who went to jail for being falsely <clears> accused <throat> of sexually assaulting or raping a, a, a someone, and he actually got out of jail and still was able to live his dream. But in order to do so, that man went through a ton. Yeah. And I don't know the whole story, but I don't know it on purpose because I want to go see the movie and find out exactly what it yeah, is. I know facts. enough about it to know I want to be surprised by that. Right. Because you know? um, I started to watch an interview on Breakfast Club today. It had uh, Sherry Shepard. I guess she played his mom. Or mm-hmm. sh- she's in the movie. Yeah. But like, they were talking about the movie. I'm like, man, let me cut this off. Because like, what you said... I want to know. I kind of know what happened, but mm-hmm. I want to. I don't want to be told in detail. Right, we have an idea of it because we speak about it all the time. Basically, a woman lying about you taking advantage of her and you going to jail for it and losing everything for it. But it's dope to see somebody who actually is able to get. That she needs back. to be in jail for a long time. She do, and I'm glad that they changed that to now. They're going to start prosecuting those type of people. Yeah, you should. Right. Yeah. No doubt, you you affected somebody's life, man, whole life, oh, tremendously. It's no, mm-hmm. it's no t- like you can't even put. You can't even put a, a dollar amount. You can't put a... You can't even really say exactly how you affected somebody, but for sure, seriously affected somebody's life. Because right. then right. a, a lot of times, it'd be some shit you can't fix. Like, man, it'd be they mental state. Yeah, and like, right. Right. like you, you never know the... Like, uh, we talk about, like, getting into it with somebody, and 
then something happens to them, Lord forbid, and you can't reconcile it. Mm-hmm. Right. So you talk about, you know, maybe my grandma grandmother passed and I couldn't go to her funeral. Right. Mm-hmm. Or I I have a child and I wasn't there for my child's, you know, first step. So for this, for that. You, you fuck up somebody holds shit, man. You mm-hmm. deserve to go to jail for something right. like that. And the one thing you can't ever get back is time. Time. Yeah, no. That nigga lost right. so much of that shit. Give him, you can't have an opportunity. Shit. Like, right. he was, was supposed to, he was going to the NFL. Yeah. Right. Well, you can't do that. He still I mean, went, but, you know. But, thank, I mean, he missed that big contract. Like, that was generation. He had an right. opportunity to change generations and, and have generational wealth, whereas he still succeeded in life and still had that opportunity, but. Yeah. He did. She needed to be in jail for life. Was it worth it in the way that he had to get it? I don't think so. And no. I'm pretty sure he would tell you it wasn't worth it. So. I just I'm just glad he didn't give up and he persevered. You know he looked saying? like like looking at the trailer, man, he looked like a strong dude. Right. Like a real strong dude. He fought the entire time. Right. He didn't take any deals, any pleas, I don't think. And even after he got out. Yeah. Even while he was still in there and could have quit like a lot of people do. Right. You know? Um But shouts out to the young lady, man. Not to get sidetracked. Yeah, shouts out to the definitely shouts out to her. Um Shots out still in order for uh, Jay Z and Will Smith. Hey. Uh, they basically gonna come together again for another Emmett Till project. Uh, this time they're gonna basically focus on a lot of the women who empowered some of the civil rights movements. Uh, they're gonna focus it uh, on ABC. It's gonna be called. It's gonna be called uh, Women of the Movement. Uh, the story of Mammy Till Mobley uh, will be kind of focused in on the first season, which was Emmett Till's mother. Um, and they're going to try to kind of tell the story from her perspective. So I thought that was dope. That's, that's dope. That's got to be a tough... That's got to be a tough way to see it from, or some tough eyes to see it oh, through, yeah, it's sort of say. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. It's going it's to get a few tears out of some people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm pretty sure having to see your young son but you know, go through I, that. I, 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 I hear a lot. You hear the thing that, like, if, if you don't see it, history is doomed to repeat itself or something like that. And I, I think that although these things are hard to see, I think they're good things to see. Because I, I, I think that, like, even people who may have a bias or stereotypes towards people, when they see stuff like this, I think it kind of put a mirror on themselves and, and show the worst sometimes in people. And I think sometimes it kind of make people realize, like, yeah, that was pretty fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and, and some, it'll change. Some, they're going to just hate regardless. Same, you know, right. some ain't going to even watch it. But And that's... I, I think that movies and, and mm. depictions of stuff like this is, is still needed. We can't forget. Yeah, it. but um, you know what I'm saying? You can always make an excuse. Oh, that was back then. I'm so glad we're not there anymore. Shit. I but sent, it's still I, sent, I sent the story this Shit, week in a group yeah. message about in Georgia when they was going for for uh, when it was going after all of those females who was trying to who actually got into power like within the political field. Um, but some of those Unfortunately, white guys went after them and press and found charges against them. And that's that story that I sent for like yeah. voters fraud or voter spread. Like basically, what they were doing was following the rules. Um, they were actually helping people who wasn't able to visit voting booths and get them to turn in their absentee ballots, which increased the the, the black vote in Georgia. Mm-hmm. And so with that, of course, it was more black people, more black women in power. And the white man didn't like that. Well, I forgot. I want to say it's the white man who just beat Stacey Abrams. He was the one who headed it. And basically, they had these six... It was ten. Ten plus two. That's what it was. It was the, the jury... Uh, not the jury, but the women at ten plus two who basically, they went after him. And they all went through stuff, lost jobs with the Board of Education and within political fields simply because they were helping more black people vote. Yeah. And all of that, I don't understand how. How do you just be so upset and so mad at a particular person just for trying to better themselves? That seemed like the running theme of the night, ain't it? It's simply be because great. they're trying to better themselves. We don't, People, and we're not trying to be racist, but a lot of racial stuff is coming up. Uh, Brian and we're not Kemp. being racist. Kemp, yeah. The, the dude who uh, beat Stacey Abrams. People that, you know what I'm saying, say your vote doesn't matter. If your vote doesn't matter, then why are they trying to keep it from you so mm-hmm. hard? They're trying to, they're trying to give you every roadblock to not vote. So if it don't matter, then why are they trying so hard? They do everything they can to keep you from not voting. Unfortunately, That's why you should know how important your vote is. Unfortunately, some as simple as that seems, some people don't think that deep. You know what I'm saying? So, mm. 
Y'all playing footsies over that bitch or something? <laughs> like this nigga, I don't know. He just sprawled out of here. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> dummy, dummy. Yeah. Oh, no, nigga, no. comfortable on the spot. Like, I don't understand. <laughs> nigga, they hit me like eight times. Like, nigga, that ain't the equipment. <laughs> you don't play footsie no more after you. <laughs> Foot wars. Um, shit, man. You did uh, Another big topic that was going on this week. Everybody had their top 50 list. I had, you know, people, you know, they be wanting to, you know, my narcissism is flaring right now. So they be mm-hmm. wanting to know what I think about <laughs> it. So they sent me, yeah, they sent me like, what do you think about this list? I'm going to tell you what I thought. Um, this list was trash as fuck. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't like the, I, I'm sorry. I got ahead of myself, but it was trash. AKA uh, Slop 50. That's yeah, the, the first Get one that put it out. Shoes. I'm going to tell you, it was a great marketing employee by whatever, whoever that was that put they that shit the out because they was getting a lot of little love and shit on that. Um, I need to go see if they got more followers. They but it was a podcast. Hundred. It was a podcast, yeah, actually. But it was a, a list of the top 50 greatest rappers of all time. And I don't know. Uh, I know y'all saw this shit. Uh, it's the elephant in the room. Let's talk about it. Uh, nah, I say number two. He not? Who, who your number two? Oh, that ain't the elephant. No, uh, no, 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 no. I can see how some people I can see would how, say that. And that one, I don't have a problem with. That, would, that was the first elephant. It wouldn't be my number two. Now, the Alabama Christmas Tide elephant? Yeah. Joe. Joe Budden ain't in my top 78. <laughs> <laughs> 78. <laughs> I fuck with Joe. He in the top. He in the top fifty, but I fuck with Joe. I give him his credit. He can spit, but nobody wants to listen to that shit, bro. Like mm-hmm. he, I'm sorry. He that nigga that always like, hey, I'm nice, man. You just gotta listen to me. You I'm gotta, nice, be like, yeah, yes, you can rap, bro. But like, no, nobody wants to listen I don't to your shit. Hear that. I think I think he'll be dope if he put all his song on Take Keith beats, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but all because all them beats he had, that was trash. But uh. You sure don't want to put a hole in your religion? Shut up. The only person on this top five that will make my top five is probably Jay-Z. In the top five. In my top five, it will be only Jay-Z. Yeah. Out of this um, top five. Nas will be Nas on mine. In the top five? Yeah. I can see that. That's okay. That's I, what I'm saying. I, I would have a problem if somebody... Mm-hmm. Yeah, did. But nobody that. else. But and, and the crazy thing about this is Lil Wayne is 37. Hey, you know something about these northerners? Tell us. The South to show them East Coast. Ways. Don't say no. Okay, yeah, yeah, East, East, right. Coast. East Coast. East Coast hip hop pioneers or whatever you want to call yourself. Pioneers? The South is, the, the South will show them love. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But we always they do. would never we always do. show love to the South. I I, I just told I, I text who did that. Mm-hmm. We was talking about something unrelated. Well, no, related. But we was saying I was saying how like it's crazy because it it's like um the South will say, oh, yeah, shit, Nas can That's rap. Right. Jay-Z can rap. We'll mm-hmm. give them their credit. Joe Budden can rap. Not my kind of music, but he can rap. But you, like, they will not... a hey, Juvenile lied to mm-hmm. All he said was, huh? Not even... Right. Nigga, that was lied to us. Not even that. Like, a lot of us will simply sit here and say, Jay-Z might be the best rapper. Yeah. It's so yeah. hard f- for them to even fix their mouths when a lot of us would say Lil Wayne was their yeah. favorite rapper or right. number one on that list at some we point We get y'all created... Created rap And we respect Like we love We like East Coast rap Like right. we would We would be lying If we said we didn't like East Coast rappers right. mm-hmm. A lot of people at this table Favorite rapper is Jay-Z mm-hmm. right. A lot of people like Nas They would have him in his top five I used to listen to Wu-Tang A lot of people didn't but Like I'll, you know what I'm saying Like, But I'll tell you something I started liking y'all rap A lot more When y'all got a little Southern in your rap Yep When y'all started Y'all started using them 808 facts. beats and, and, yeah. that, and that just yeah. let you know How mm-hmm. How Deep, Y'all became cool. How deep the South was. Right. They tried to shut the South out of music a lot. They tried to keep us quiet. But now a lot of the whole sound is Atlanta. Uh, New York is Atlanta right. now. I, I like when I hear a New York sounding rapper. Right. Like uh like the Griselda, the Griselda bar. Them, them nigga lie. Mm-hmm. And they sound New York. Mm-hmm. I, I like Troy Avenue because he sounded New York. All right. But that's not the ones that's popping, unfortunately. Yeah, but it's the it's them more the so ones, the ones I love because yeah. they sound like where they from, and mm-hmm. I like the beats that they pick, and I respect them for their their re- like. Mm-hmm. It's something to me. It's something to be said when you go to the West Coast and you hear the, they sound, and you go to the Midwest and hear they sound, and you go like I like like I like to hear that Detroit sound. That's synonymous to Detroit. I want to see somebody from the West Coast top fifty. Because, oh, like we say, be, we look uh, at it, and that shit be regional. So everybody has their own little bias in it. And and I get it, because we would. Well, so ain't we would, Ebro from the uh, West Coast? I don't know where actually? Ebro's from. I don't know where he's from. I don't know. Uh, I thought East he Coast, dealt no. a, lot, a lot up north, uh, East Coast. I really don't know. Um, 
That is, but I'm pretty sure, like, in, in the South, we would have Juvenile on our list. We would probably have BG on our list. We'll have Tip higher. We'll have Ross higher. We'll have Wayne higher. I so have Luke on my three list. Three stacks got uh, to be impact. in there. You bit. wild Over. for having Luke on your list, though. I would have Ghost for face. Impact. He, he would be in impact. my top 50. Impact. So does Impact alone get you in the top 50? Yeah, if you like that. If you the reason why they put parental advisory on CDs... Yeah. I, I feel like Impact uh, uh, definitely have a, a big bearing on my list, mm-hmm. but you also got to have the lyrics to go with the Impact. Mm-hmm. Facts. And the song. Mm-hmm. And the... Luke, amazing. Amazing hey, Impact. Changed hey, the whole sound, but... Hey, fool, I'm listening to Luke before I listen to Styles P, and he's number four. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not. Styles. <laughs> I like Styles. Styles and Kiss and yeah, the Styles, Locks, the whole... They dope. Them. They dope. Mm-hmm. But I'm saying if I'm just going to something, I'd rather hear an old Luke Freak song than a Styles <laughs> C song. It depends on if It's going to be in, hard for y'all to, if to, I'm in, to name us. Well, I can't really... You yeah, know, if I'm in a club, then yes, Luke, hey, but anywhere else, I'll take Styles. I knew this, this list is bullshit. It had Lil Wayne at 37. 37. 37. God, I know I know the, the back end of his career the last couple of years hadn't been what we would Behind want. Behind Cameron. But, 37? Behind Method <laughs> Man. Behind Twister. Behind Styles Behind P. Raekwon. Fabulous. Behind, Behind Ghostface, Common. bro. Behind, Behind Ghost, Ghostface was live. As Behind Beanie. He was. Ghostface is live. He was live. Ghostface is live. Not Wayne, but he's right. live. And that's all I'm saying. And that's, and that's, that's all I'm all saying. Right. Like, these, like, it could be respectful, but... Right. Respectable, I say, but I mean, and that just go to show, you know. And we're not every, every, every every area you go in may have a little bit slightly different of a list, right. but I just feel like the South get play, like this list had. I I want to say I counted like out of twenty seven, out of the top twenty seven, like it's fifty, but out of that top twenty seven, like twenty two of them were East Coast X. Yeah, the right. top nine. Yeah, man. Come All on, from the man. East Coast. Don't do us like that. How you, your entire no. top nine be from one place. <laughs> don't do us like Come that. Come on, that. That's too biased because mine's going to be pepper. It's going to be southern. Can, it's going to be Midwest. It's going to be east. But will you, but will you, yeah, okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Go ahead. I was going to say, will your top West, 10 be sprinkled all over the place? But I got Yeah, you. it's going to be, yeah, I'm going to hit every region, mm-hmm. especially yeah. if I put Tupac and Big in, which I don't like to do. Mm-hmm. But if it's they're kind of like a Trump card. Are, yeah. are, are Big and Tupac? Uh, and I and I had that as a question: Is Big and Tupac always gonna be in somebody's top five? No, according to this list, no. Well, I, but not, I, feel, I feel the I, list, but no. And like I said earlier, I don't think they're in my top five anymore. Because as time goes on, music changes, and you start to have different favorite things. I, I, I get that. But so, can, I, can I? No. Just tell not. me if it doesn't equate. Uh, Ta- time so, changes. Time changes. Mm-hmm. Things evolve. Mm-hmm. Jordan still. Some people top at least top three player ever to play the game, and time mm-hmm. has changed. Fact. Some, some like is that not can... the same with music? Yes, yeah. I, I, I listen to Tupac so. today. I but, love real Tupac. talk. But I, he's going to be. We in my do, top five. we do. But like, you got to look at it like some of these younger kids is Jordan still in their top two, three players? Like these younger kids, know. They, so they like with time, that's, well, the same, that's because Jordan is our. Well, era, that's what I'm so, saying about yeah. this. What list can be subjective anyway, simply mm-hmm. because what age range are you talking about? Who because they may shit. Some may say Lil Yachty the best rapper to ever. They might walk dark. Right. But but I personally take Tupac and Biggie out of my top five because I think that's a cop out. Mm-hmm. That could be everybody's top five. Let's they, take them out and give me a real top five. And they are because I, I yeah, yeah that's some be, people put them in there who don't even listen to their music. Like without Tupac being in your top five, without you saying that, I'm like don't know music. Mm-hmm. With our biggie wordplay and storytelling ability, you don't really know music. So let's mm-hmm. take them out and get a top so five can, that's totally different. You can put them in the honorary legendary. Status, yeah, they, they they over there somewhere. They're they over top five. Sooner yeah. or later, Jay Z gonna be there too. But they already there. Uh, I wouldn't say that because I, I don't top know. five right now. If we did a top five, Jay Z might not be in some of our top five. He's Maybe. gonna be number one for me. He'll be in mine. And I can, I can sit here and say that if we did the top five, including Big and Pac, they might not make everybody's top five. So it's no different, I don't think. That's just boring to me to put them two in it. Like, you're only, you're only picking three other people when you do that. Because most people would do I get it, but then it. what if some people just simply doesn't think they're in the top five regularly, even if you put them in it? That's what I'm saying. Either you're young or, or, or I really can't respect your music opinion. I hear you. I know somebody whose music opinion we do respect. Rick Ross's. He gave his top five. Well, he wait. had a dope top five. What was right, his top five? A, his top five consisted of Ice Cube, Mike, 
um, Scarface, 8 Ball, MJG um, as a rap duo and a balance between Nipsey and Tupac. So no Big? Was Big in there? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nah. Mm-mm. He might want to no, be big, on the Big, big Rapper. Big was so his first respect. one. Ice Cube. Uh-uh. No, Big was his first one. Ice Cube was too tough. Big uh-huh. was his first one. Cause yeah, yeah, he did. He said, oh, yeah, yeah that's right, that's right. Big, he said... Give us that trash that list, huh? <laughs> so, <laughs> so he named six, which really he named four, because he put Tupac and Big in. He split Nipsey and Tupac. I can see well, he, how he, he could do that. He said that... He, he said in the interview that he didn't yeah. want to... He didn't want to, like, have either. to go between Nip and... Um, and Tupac. Tupac. Yeah, he was like, because... Their impacts. He was like, "Nip impact is just being felt and gonna keep going on." Right. He was like, "But how, how, you know, how he was the impact, like to what you were saying, was gonna be big." I mean, I respect it. Right. I, it's hard. Like, it's hard to get mad and argue over anybody top five because, like I said, age is gonna matter. Where you grew up is gonna matter. The kind of music, like, no, like hell, we we all grew up in the same area, but we all don't like the same music. We like screw music. Right. Who the won't listen Who the to hates that, that shit? Hell no, I never, right. I ain't touching it. That's cool, but I, I, I'm just <laughs> saying that to say I, I, a point that we don't all like the same music, no matter where you're at. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? He grew up in New Orleans. We grew up in Mobile. Mobile was heavy screw. It skipped over New Orleans. You know what I'm saying? Like, he might got some bounce shit that may be lost. Some people in, in New Orleans may say, shit, that bounce did it. And we might like, man, I ain't, ain't listening right. to none of that shit. But uh, so, Partners in Crime bounce. Right. I, I like Partners in Crime. But the song I like, I don't think it's really bounce. I don't know for sure. Yeah, it is. But I, I'm just okay. saying that to say that this list can be so okay. many different I'm putting Slim Thug above a y'all, lot of them niggas. Y'all I'm, wanna, putting, y'all wanna, I'm putting a y'all lot wanna, of screwed up click niggas above a lot of people that's on these trash lists. Tell you what saying. I'm not going to do. Put Slim Thug in my top anything. <laughs> you okay. tripping. Y'all want to go? Y'all want to do a top five? Your own personal top five? Nah. Without Big and Pop? No. Not right now. Okay. We'll come back. Next episode. Mm-hmm. Next episode? Maybe. That's real soon. We're going to forget by 10 minutes from now. Then it wasn't meant. Why? You got your top five? Look, he he ready. No, I don't. I don't. I got mine ready. In my head. Without Tupac and um Yeah, I could come bigger. up with the, the top five favorite rappers that I like right now. That top all right, five. Well, go ahead, Hoodie. We all do it. Go no, ahead. I don't want to do it. Go ahead. Uh okay, Jay-Z first, of course. Wayne second. Third is Ross. Fourth is I I give it to Drake. And five will be Kendrick. I'm going. Uh, I'm going. Jay Z, Wayne, Outkast. Even today. Yeah, Outkast, uh, Tip, and uh, my fifth would be. I don't know how to think about it. <laughs> how to think about it. Honeycomb. Holy, <laughs> hey, my nigga, honorable mentions. He number six on my top five. What could you say? Six on the top five. Oh, uh, gotcha. number five, Mister Big. <laughs> you don't mean it, but okay. Yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> what you got, young? T- oh no, Kanye. Kanye. I put Kanye at five. I put Kanye at five. Okay. Pop, Jigga, Stacks. We say it without pop. Oh, without pop. Okay. Um, you just told Ken right he don't be listening. <laughs> dummy, dummy, dummy. Um, Jay Z, Nas, Three Stacks, Scarface, Face Mob, Wayne. Wayne was that about four? How many was that? Oh, five. That's five. Okay. Um, damn, Ken right. you proved him right. You don't be listening. <laughs> <laughs> right back. Then. Exactly. Right back with the right back. Um, uh, mine. I'm gonna go Wayne. Uh, Jay Z, Nas, Ross, Dylon, 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 Dylon. Stop, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Dylon. <laughs> five. Uh, fuck, man. Five hard. Um, I got to change. I give me Ti for the fifth one. Yeah, give me Ti. My five. Who well, you say you want, Ross? Yeah, for Mister Big. No, Ross over Kanye. <laughs> Well, I am. Okay, gotcha. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. So, um, yeah, that's it. We we came up with it on the fly. Um, there you go, the dumbest top 20. Did y'all did see you? The, did y'all see the... Uh, <laughs> Which the, is the top eight. Cause we <laughs> right, we the same niggas, guys. Some of them doubled up. It's going to always be like that for yeah. us. Did y'all see the fallout from the, the little cucumber shit? The cucumber thing went... 
kind of yeah. crazy. They was going hard at Alexis Sky because of... Who fell out? The bitch who had too many cucumbers? Fallout. As in, like, people backlash, backlash. getting mad and all that. No, nah, you don't need to be falling out. It's not, it has nothing... That's my point. You ha- It has nothing to do with you. If you weren't the one in there getting the cucumbers... Be quiet. If she's okay, be she's quiet. Okay. That's What's that narcissistic you? shit we were talking about. Hey, Everybody got a voice. He's got something to say Everybody about got something that ain't got nothing, nothing to do with you. Got, right. So. Yeah. You can't be more upset than a person that is happening. She looked like she was having fun. Yeah. So if you like cucumbers, hey. Have a you cucumber. You be a healthy cucumber having person. <laughs> Herbs good for your skin. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Try your cucumber. Yeah, it was, it was crazy just to see all the people. Like, you know, a, a lot of women felt that that was very disrespectful. Um, and, and, and I mean, when I talked to a couple and I saw what they were saying, I, I get why they would say that. But at the same time, like, they, they, what, one of the questions they asked me was, uh, that I got a few different times was, do men find that appealing? Uh, and I say, you know, some, to each me. his own. Some some men may. Or some men may do that for fun and entertainment. They may not be the kind they're going to wife up. You right. know what I mean? But they just doing it for fun and entertainment. And if you single or you chilling, like, hey, go have your fun. Yeah, more than anything, man, they've been young before. Like, ain't no telling what you done did in, in them dorm room nights. Mm-hmm. Them late nights coming in now, after the club. You so, got to pass. Right. Mm-hmm. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Let, me, let, me hey, let them folk be young. Hey, man, have fun. We going to question some past events. <laughs> <laughs> What you done did? <laughs> Think about the what college, you did. What you done did that's making you so dorm mad? Days. She ended up having flashbacks. That's why she mad at right. this young girl. I'd have been at strip clubs and they sat on a Corona bottle. Is that the one I want to take home? <laughs> no. Mm. But, you know, I gave her a few dollars. Yeah. <laughs> it was entertaining. It was her tuition you were paying. Exactly. You know right. Yeah. She needed groceries. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was he was helping the yeah, public. You know what I'm she had to eat. Yeah, dude. Public right service. Hooter, public service. Yeah, dude. <laughs> right off all your taxes, charity. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Cause she got no future. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> oh, <Lord>. <laughs> um, <laughs> right, man. But stop being offended at people who are not. Who doesn't want you to be offended for them? Right. If folks having fun, then it is what it is. Women will do anything for attention. So fucking what? You're not. So right. like, yeah. not women. You're, she will. You're old. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't mean it like that. I'm just saying, like, if you at home and you go to work every day and you're living, got a your your career and you're taking care of your kids and you're doing that kind of shit, you probably don't need to be worried about what the 23 year old. That ain't what you need. You're not big the stallion. Just look exactly. at her knees. Just look at her knees and the shit she can do with her. Yeah. Not on her. You know right, what I'm saying? So but like the, the way she's like squats. Yeah. Everybody That's ain't putting that bunnet on at 5:30. Got there. You coming in? We got that <laughs> bunnet wrapped on. It's <laughs> 5:30. Yeah, you already got your little nightcap. Well, 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 I'm tired. You already got that hat helmet. helmet on and shit. <laughs> Everybody tea. ain't doing. The sun's still out. You ready for this? Some of these people living their best life. You was living your best life too. Yeah, you it know? just wasn't video. <laughs> Maybe it was. Maybe, Maybe it was. was. Maybe it was. Maybe Some was. of y'all it was. That Sprint phone came out really early. Mm-hmm. That Palm mm-hmm. Pilot. Hey. <laughs> the <laughs> Palm <laughs> Pilot. We all remember <laughs> Pyramid. <laughs> yes. I'll never yes. tell. Yes, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> No, nah, it was, it was nothing but a club that you fought in. That's all it was. Y'all ain't finna get me in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> um, question. You know I be having them questions, man. man. Um, question out here, there. <laughs> Look, this nigga, you are you. Your question yeah, you have trouble. You, you have by far exceeded my question. No way, no way. You done asked that like six questions possible. just tonight, did he not? I don't remember that. You about on three or four. He like my nigga. <laughs> But that ain't far from six. You <laughs> 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 gonna renege right quick. I mean, it ain't. Yeah, far, it ain't far from but question, man, is it okay for a dad to date his son's ex? No, that's fucked up. Yeah. Why though? Pops, if you want that trash, bro. Right. Hey, exactly. If you want that sorry sack of bones. Exactly. And that's what I was going to say. Nigga, you always have a one-up on Pops. All right. I done crushed your girlfriend, Pops. You, you know what I told out. you before, Sheer? I want my exes to look like that little uh, zombie <laughs> emoji. So if Pops want that shit, fool, go ahead. Have, but what if she don't? What if she look good? Shit. Hey, if you Super through, good. I'm narcissistic. You get through fucking with me, God, then you zombie. <laughs> <laughs> fool. I'm just talking shit, y'all. Yeah. God damn. I saw a meme that said, uh, somebody's, she's crazy as fuck, it's somebody else's, I see what he was talking about. Mm-hmm. But that is true. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's really all of them. I mean, you ever got that? But it is. 
Yeah, come on. What's your question? Yeah. What's your answer? <laughs> you ever got that warning from your homeboy and you ain't listen? Yeah. Like, yeah. Hey, man, don't do that because mm-hmm. she got that X, Y, Z. And then yeah. you go do it anyway. Yeah. And she turned out to be exactly what yeah. you... <laughs> damn, oh. damn, Charles was right. That nigga told me. Oh, you? no, she extra trash. Nah, nigga, that must have been just I think you. I got thin line between love and hate. Couple it's, of times. It's been a few times. Yeah, you, Brandy! <laughs> God damn it, Take Brandy. Your fucking Brandy. Mama had to come out that everything Brandy. to get out of Brandy. <laughs> Brandy had a knife and a cake and everything. So hey, he f- hey, he fucked up with Brandy, though. He did. He, he, he did. I, he saw the sign. I yeah. said, no, you don't tell him that. <laughs> we knew it was about to happen. Yeah, man. When she it. told her you love her, you knew you fucked up. Y'all ever did it? What? Told her you love her. I ain't never. I ain't that never was never that. my go-to thing. Because I, I always want to not do that if mm-hmm. I ain't feel like that. I thought that was some sucker shit to just... Lie. Yeah. Like that. I ain't going to say lie. I'm going to say to tell her you yeah, love her. Yeah, to tell her love her. <laughs> I, I gave you plenty of lies. Yeah. No, because it'll be lying if you... If, I'd, I'd never just say that shit. I'm not going to tell mean that lie. You know what I'm, I'm not, not going to tell, tell that lie. lie. Yeah. Right. I put, put the lie. love lie above regular lies. Yeah, you'll get a lot of other lies. I have a question. Yeah. Who the voice? Yeah. Y'all lying right now? I'm look, not. It look like uh, one of y'all. I'm trying. Let I'm me think about it. Let me, let me look at which one of you nigga probably said <laughs> I love you. It. No, I ain't. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I almost got it. I almost got it. Who don't give a fuck enough? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah. 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 it's okay. Can't, can't get, get right. right. <laughs> can't get right. I love you. All right, all right. Tell us, cause. Dude, think about like how I interact and how I talk to people, and think about like that's something I'm really gonna say Thought if I don't mm-hmm. if I don't mean it. Thought about it. I, no, and no, then, then think about who's the most emotional. And you're going to put me? Okay. But, uh, <laughs> yes. What was funny I've was. I never felt this like, feeling before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's that nigga uh, shit. Okay. <laughs> I'll be telling the truth, and they'll just be thinking I was lying. I'm like, oh no, this ain't going to last long. And then they'll laugh the shit off. I'm like, okay, you thought I was serious. And when it ain't last long, then. You thought I was serious or wasn't serious? No, uh, no, you thought I wasn't serious. Gotcha. Damn. Shit, I told your ass this shit wasn't going to last long. You be joking. That nigga I love you, baby. I was just joking. I'm different than the other guys. Uh, them niggas ain't me. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, had him me. thinking he was different. Mm-hmm. I love you for real. Knife in the teddy bear. <laughs> <laughs> cake. <laughs> the cake and all. Yeah, yeah. Damn, boy. Something wrong with y'all niggas, baby. Yep. Y'all in trouble. Mm. Um, Pizza Hut. I know this kind of crazy, but we talking about business. And I seen... The only reason I'm bringing it up is because I seen a lot of social media posts on this Pizza Hut shit about how they was closing so many stores. Um, did y'all see that? Like how Pizza Hut is closing down so mm-hmm. many different stores? 200 locations? Yeah, yeah 200 Real different soon. locations. Mm-hmm. I, I understand. What's it. the reason behind it? Well, if, you, if, if people read the article, and the only reason I'm saying that is because a lot of people was like, damn, you know, what's going on? Like, you know what I'm saying? But they said that they're closing dine in. They were very specific. Right. Mm-hmm. And what they're saying is the way that we consume food and consume products now, we like to order shit. So it's no need to have this big ass restaurant that nobody's coming in and really sitting down in anymore. Everybody wants carry out, mm-hmm. so they they're either making it to carry out or delivery service. Mm-hmm. So it's still gonna be there, but it's more like a how Domino's kind of been, right, for, the been for the longest. Domino's, you like shit. You ain't been able to sit in that bitch in quite a while. Yeah. Come in and get out. Yeah, right. come in and get the hell out of our stuff. And the, I, and I saw that. My only question was, and I kind of figured it out. My only question was, was it gonna lose people jobs? And then I sat down and thought about it. Like, how many people are actually in there as a waitress or a server in Not. in there anyway? Because Both even of them when it was, kind of counter- it wasn't no, like, like the person bringing you up might have brought you your pizza, right. but if that, she still was. Might have to get your own shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That shit might save you, because I had a home but fucked around and served alcohol to a minor in Pizza Hut and got a ticket for that shit. <laughs> shit. Had to go to jail and everything behind Damn. it. But uh, I was watching something about, uh, it was Little Caesars, and you know, you could never dine in there right. unless it was like in a Kmart maybe. But like their actual stores, they, they were like, that's how they Cut costs. That's why you can get a $5 pizza. Makes sense. Makes sense. Like Makes sense. Just hopefully it doesn't decrease jobs and hurt people who doesn't have cars and who are, are able to be delivered people. You know what I'm saying? As long as it doesn't hurt people. Then cool. They buffet used to be straight. Though. And from yeah, a business yeah. model, you got to think about it, man. They got to do what's best for the business, even if, unfortunately, it's losing some people's jobs. So, um, I sit, Hey, I like CC's. This is one by my job. I go there and get I've been wanting to go there for a while, but, man, man, I had some pizza last night. Some... That high ass piece, that shit was like twenty two dollars, but it was real good from Slice. It was like a Philly cheese steak. Slices, piece. though. Slices. That shit was shit. super good. Yeah. Ty ate all my twenty two dollar pizza today. Yeah, I did that. <laughs> um, did y'all see uh Champ Bailey Hall of Fame speech? Uh, this week was the 
the Hall of Fame uh, Hall thing. Of we saw Air Reed got in. Shots out to Air Reed. Much hey, needed. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Um, Trump Bailey got in. Definitely a dope cornerback. Ty Law. Uh, yep, Ty Law. Uh, much deserving. There was a lot of a, a lot of big, big uh, players got in. But Champ Bailey, I don't know if y'all had a chance to see his speech. Did any of y'all catch any of his speech? I did. I didn't catch it. What did he say? He basically, you know, he gave, you know, the typical speech about his upbringing in sports. But one of the things that he said is that, you know, uh, uh, for white people who, who, who hear us, who see us and love us, when your black friend tell you that they're going through something or that this is an issue, believe us. Mm-hmm. And he said it just like that. I believe that us. Statement. We're sorry. not making this up. Like, mm-hmm. believe what we're saying. This is really a thing. Listen to us. Exactly. Try to understand what we're saying. We're not making this up for the good. And, and, and I, I just thought it was dope. He used his platform at that time right. to share awareness on it. Mm-hmm. May not make a difference. Who hopefully, knows? Hopefully but I, I just thought that that was dope. That in your time, you know, he was narcissistic and, <laughs> and, and shed it light on black issues <laughs> that matter to black people using his narcissism. I dare Such him. The hell narcissism. people want to hear about, about how, what I go through. But you know what? Not to take anything away for that great career, one of the best cornerbacks ever. But like, I always thought it was funny that his brothers, and him included, all had dog names. Mm-hmm. Champ, mm-hmm. Boss, mm-hmm. King, mm-hmm. them all hood dog names. <laughs> and like the top three probably. Mama we had Anna. a top three of dog what's, names. What's crazy is I had a dog named Champ. Jordan had a dog named King. <laughs> I had a King. I had a King and boss. a Boss. Yeah. A boss. My next dog name will be Boss. <laughs> I might name it Champ. Champ a trill ass name. Hey, and Buster. You know what I'm saying? That's the. That's about everything there. Yeah. Killer. Buster. Bruiser. Yeah. What other hood dog names? <laughs> Scarface. Huh? Killer. Mm, that's a first. That's a Scarface. A pit bull named Scarface. That eight mile. Remember that shit like we yesterday ran from him many times. <laughs> I ain't grow up around much dogs though. So not many people. Rambo. Got there. Man, that shit was like a known thing. Nigga, you couldn't walk through the neighborhood. Everybody, we already yeah. knew when you turned a certain street, mm-hmm. get, have ready. That dog shit. get ready because of boss. Get ready because of boss. We had, stra- be out there, we we had strays, but we didn't know who them bitches was for. Nigga, so that we knew the- their names. And that's why you ran, <laughs> goddamn. You seen that stray goddamn pit bull turn that corner? You better get the fuck out of Dodge. Because he ain't got no harm to go to. <laughs> Hell no. You his only meal. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> A little, a little leg for dinner. <laughs> I'm going to have some leg. <laughs> and Mobile, them bitches running packs. Yeah, like wolves. You ever see, y'all ever know the Trinidad Gardens? In Trinidad Gardens, they got, like, they dogs running. Like, they stick together over yeah. that bitch. Them, it be like six of them, and they got yeah. one little leader. Yeah, they got dog gangs. Yeah. <laughs> because they don't have fences over there. Anybody in Mobile know what I'm talking about. Trinidad Garden dogs running packs. I would be one... Dog that didn't gave birth to about 62 puppies. Hey, fool. <laughs> Running in the clip. Small mobile moment. How many times have y'all been to the Trent Garden Parade after high school? Twice. Yeah, maybe twice. Yeah, I would say maybe one or two. Twice. But that bitch be, be like, yeah, that bitch Man, be rocking. That bitch be groove. Better get out of Dodge before dark, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 637, um, better be gone. But yeah, shouts out to Chum Bailey, man, for shedding light on that. Um, that was dope. That was pretty dope. Yeah, it was. It, and if you haven't seen it, I do challenge you to go up on YouTube and look at it. I'm not saying that it was monumental. I'm just saying that it was dope to see him use his platform uh, in, in that way. Um, did y'all see that uh, uh, Gordon, uh, the troubled ride receiver, uh, basically finna get a 19th chance. <laughs> they got never-ending shots, <laughs> goddamn. <laughs> And Just shoot could, till you make it. Get and Josh Gordon, uh, the New England, uh, the suspended New England Patriots wide receiver, uh, just applied for reinstatement back into the NFL. I, I don't know if y'all got to see it. For those who don't know, he's a tremendous talent. Um, but he he kept having failed drug attempts with the Cleveland Browns. Um, showed so many glimpses of being a such a prolific receiver, but throughout his career has been troubled with drug with drug abuse, uh, with substance abuse. Um, was showing glimpse last year with the Patriots, got dismissed from the team uh, because, because of issues. Uh, but he just applied for reinstatement. Mm-hmm. Uh, we saw earlier in the summer that he was working out with Tom Brady. Mm-hmm. Um, what's y'all thoughts on that? I'm always, nah, I'm, a, I'm always for another shot, man. I understand that 
he's messed up a number of times, and I get it. Um, but then I'm not so quick to turn out turn turn my back on our people. So if I see a person, one of us, who gets another shot and another shot, I want to see him keep getting shots. He ain't break no laws. Maybe he broke a few rules, but man, that don't mean turn your back on a person because they're going through some shit. So man, I I, I hope he's he'll have to probably serve a suspension. Uh, because he he initially left the team because he said he had to deal with himself because he was going through some things previously. Right. He, uh, he said he had to deal with some things, but then they come out to find out that he actually had failed a drug test not too long before that. Well, he did break laws. Failing drug tests, you broke. It's not breaking a law when you fail a drug test. Smoking weed is illegal. Not in California. He he wasn't in California, and he could have been. You don't know that. He's gonna make okay, right but he played for the Cleveland Browns. <laughs> I'm so, just, where do you think he, he was at? Where do you said, think he no, stayed? No, no, no. I said, <laughs> you think he flew? Regina Manziel. <laughs> so, because Shit. you break a rule doesn't mean you broke a law. I don't understand what you're saying right now. I don't understand how you think that that's makes a, sense. That's an NFL rule, nigga, but it's legal to smoke weed in Las Vegas. It's legal to smoke weed in California. You get that, don't you? Is it legal to smoke weed in Alabama? No, but who? he's not in Alabama. If you get caught smoking weed in Alabama, are you going to jail? Probably not, if I give him the weed. Hey. But is that breaking the law? In some places it is, but in some places it is. So in Cleveland, is that breaking the law? Who says he did it in Cleveland? <laughs> <laughs> you keep it, you act like it's not legal to right, weed in places. So uh, what I was gonna say, <laughs> uh, if my man get another chance, cool. If he doesn't, I'm kind of okay with that too. Like how many how many chances do you need to give a nigga, especially a grown ass adult? If you can't put weed down after five six chances. My nigga, if that's what you want to do, cool. Mm-hmm. You I can't just, be a, 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 a NFL player. I just feel like weed, man. This thing, uh, <laughs> to all accounts, he's not on like crack or like heroin or something. Right. Bro, you can't stop smoking weed. Like, mm-hmm. you can't go get the little, uh, what's the shit? OTC? What what the shit? It's not to TC, uh, CBD. Yeah, go get you some CBD or something. <laughs> like, like, you can't do that. <laughs> Fuck, man. You can't drink. Uh, like... <laughs> I don't think they let him drink either, though. Because once you not. get to that point, they because yeah, either. after he got to that yeah, point, so but yeah, really after the that first thing. time, you like just a lot mm-hmm. of money out there. It's millions of dollars that you're for losing weed, for, fool? for some weed. Yeah, mm-hmm. weed ain't worth a million dollars. Millions of dollars. It yeah, ain't. ten. You see what these receivers getting? Yeah. But that mean, but maybe and he was maybe, the best. Maybe, but maybe they go to show you that that he has a real issue or a real problem. Not just weed, maybe. Nigga, like whole for- idiot. <laughs> dummy, 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 dummy. You see what Antonio Brown got, fool? And he better than Antonio Brown than me. He would have got that. Hundred million dollars. You get that away for weed, nigga. It's it's tough. And I guess it's easy for us to say from this mm-hmm. right. perspective. I won't say it. We don't struggle with those demons, but uh uh, you, you tell me to give up coffee for a hundred million dollars. <laughs> hey, it's gone. It's <laughs> hey, one coffee. <laughs> You got some water around here? Y'all, yeah. y'all got a B12 shot? <laughs> All right. Yeah. You, you tell me to give up chicken thighs. You know what? Where the wings at? Go, hey. If it's that bad to get high, go sn- sniff some glue or something. <laughs> what they would do on Crooklyn. Oh, oh Crooklyn. Go, 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 go do something. Them niggas Just don't smoke the weed, yeah. man. God Leave damn. the weed alone. I don't think he can run no routes under that. Shit. Yeah, man. I don't know what's going on. But Shit, um, I mean, I, I'm with y'all, like, to, in all seriousness. Mm-hmm. Um... If there is a slimmer of hope of chance, I'm all for giving. He's still a young person. When I say young, like we said, these people' careers be over at 30, 30. Mm-hmm. That's still young. Mm-hmm. Uh, I still consider us young. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, we, if, and we look at like 28, 27, 28, 29, it's still kids. When we look back at it, that's still really kids, man. Uh, 27, 28, 27, 28 you're, yeah, not, you're, yeah. you're grown, man. But there's a lot yeah, of people who see kid. that as kids. 23, well, yeah, some 24. people. Are kids. I'm but I, I'm just saying, like, if there's a, a, a ability to help somebody who, if he's trying, help him. and they see that he's trying, help him. And I think maybe that's what Tom Brady possibly sees. I right. can't speak for Tom Brady, but for Tom Brady, the greatest uh, player to, uh, arguably, depending on what circle you're in, to ever play the game, uh, to want to take a liking and continue to work out with you, it's got to be something that something they see in, in this player, other than just that he's good. It's because Tom Brady don't need nobody good. Right. Yeah, no. Tom Shit. Brady would take Tom Brady won a, the ring without you. A right. five and, six slow mm-hmm. a receiver, Slot receiver. Yeah. and make him the most so, the best receiver in the league. If you got a chance, because like those are stories that you see in late in life when he fought it, he say, "Man, they wouldn't give up on." Me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's dope. 
Yeah. I, I, I think that's, that's dope. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people giving him a lot of flack because it's like, damn, how many chances do you get to get? But then when they don't give us a chance, especially us, they're like, oh, write him out, right? Yeah, and that's gave him a hundred chances. And that's exactly why I never turn my back on something like that. You know what I'm saying? But uh-huh. sometimes it's just stupid. Like, I mean, not the, it's always no It's always stupid. Just like but my I, boy, uh, Ali. Like, come on, bro. That's crazy, but I hope he gets another shot. I hope he does, too. But... Mm-hmm. Come on, like some shit I look is at your it, fault. I get it, but then I look <laughs> like, at it like you got to take accountability. Sometimes, hey, you fucked up, you fucked up. Right, and I get it, and that be us speaking like that, man. Because I look at it like, look at Ryan Leaf. Ryan Leaf was the 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 serial fuck up. Now look at him, man. He gets a job with ESPN. They ain't turning their back on him. Why we turn our back? The on The NFL turned their back on on what? Maybe two times. He That's, had like two fuck ups. Maybe if, if he was black, how many times he'd have been able to get that fuck up? Shit. Not many. Exactly. Six. And that's why I want to see him get that chance. Right. I don't understand that neither. But okay. <laughs> yeah. I definitely want to see him again, man. I mean, dude is a he's a he's a first tier talent, no doubt. Like, mm-hmm. like you say, he could have been better than Antonio Brown. But you know, I I don't want to be so quick to write him off. But shit. You you're right. He get, he has had a lot of chances. So shit. Mm. Don't write him off, man. Right now, right now. Um, do you think the NCAA is trying to write off Rich Paul? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I want to bring this up, but hang on. Uh, fool, to me, I might be the minority in this, but I don't think that was a Rich Paul rule. I don't think they was targeting Rich Paul. First of all, the rule is you have to uh, you have to have a degree and some other stuff. But it's only for people that's entering the NBA draft to see how they are. But, so most of that's like second round people. Rich Paul is not signing a second round draft pick. Can, can y'all explain to people who may not know me and other listeners who Rich Paul is? Okay. So y'all y'all just saying it's the Rich Paul rule, but like it's a lot of people may not You're right. know. That. Mm-hmm. Right. You're right. So Rich Paul is a LeBron James agent, first of all. Mm-hmm. Uh Antonio Davis. Uh, Anthony Davis, I'm sorry. Anthony Davis. Antonio, and then went to the he, old Pacers. Draymond right? Green, he's a top <laughs> two agent, basically. Mm-hmm. Probably one of the most important agents in the NBA. Right now. Mm-hmm. The NBA hates him because of how much power he has. So the NCAA came out with the rule, said, you can't be an agent of players entering the draft to see, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. where their stock is at. Right. You have to be... Approved by the NCAA, mm-hmm. so one of one of their rules was you have to have a college degree, a bachelor's which, degree, mm-hmm. which he doesn't have. Uh, you have to go through so many hours, uh, three years of training. Yeah. You have to be certified for three years with them. But they called it the Rich Paul rule and said it was racist. That doesn't fit his criteria. He's only going to sign people that's guaranteed lottery picks. Those are the only people he's messing with. So how can you say something as a rule when it doesn't affect him? But why I think, would that, I think it has to be more than that if LeBron James steps out and speaks out about it. It just has to. And what, but tell and, me why. And why does that matter? Maybe For, Rich why, Paul still wants to represent but why would that, also. But and why is that even a rule if some of the players right. don't even have to have that criteria? Right. And not even the players, some of the owners. Like if I'm a, a third-generation rich kid or I'm a, a rich person and I just came across wealth because of an idea that I had and I never finished college, shit, Mark Zuckerberg never finished college, right. but he can own a team if he wanted. He has enough money. So, like, why are you putting this on his own agents? So, I think it's a terrible rule. Shit that the NCAA do. They do a lot of bad shit. But I personally can't see how you can say it's targeting Rich Paul when it doesn't affect him. It's not going to affect him next year. He's only going to talk. To lottery picks. Are you, but are you sure it doesn't affect him? Because, I mean... Tell if me you, how it could. Because if you're trying to build an empire, those kids matter as well. Right. They're not going to be signed directly to him. What, what's, he can have some guy that fits all those criteria up under him to sign them. Rich Paul is not signing a kid out of Auburn that might be second round. You, you don't you know that, say that because, He's not upset about the rule for no reason. Right. And, and at the end of the day, man, <laughs> an agent is going to sign whoever. It doesn't matter. If, if, you have, if your name is on that board, they're going to be at you, period. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> Rich Paul... This is clearly set up for some shit that is targeted towards him. I mean, you can't say it any other way. Like, everybody dropped every agent that they had. Draymond Green, he wasn't originally rocking with Rich Paul. 
he got with he got with Rich Paul, got a big ass contract. Anthony Davis, the man of the trade, who is his agent? Rich Paul. So everything that's shifting, he has his his hands on. You know what I'm saying? And they're not making this rule for somebody else. And it's not just for him, but I'm just saying, how my thing is, NCAA, who the fuck do you think you are? Period. You can't tell a kid coming out of college who they can and can't have represent them. And I remember at one point, piggybacking off of you, I remember at one point, the professional leagues, football and basketball, both said that we set the standard. We don't. We like I remember it was something about NCAA players being paid and the issue between professional and the, the NBA or the, the professional leagues was like, we don't have that issue. We right. pay our players. Right. Like, they made a clear distinction and a separation between the two. It's kind of weird now that the NBA is like, well, you got to go through the NCAA now. Mm-hmm. Like, that's kind of weird. Right. And, and at the end of the day, a lot of these students are just, fuck that. You know what? I ain't even going to college. I go overseas, give me a check real quick, come back and get drafted. I've seen that but, a lot this year, too. Right, that's on. what I'm saying. But hang on. Let me ask y'all a question, because the guys they're talking about is the guys that can enter the draft, test out the market, and if they don't get picked or don't like it, can go back. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But to do that, you can't hire an agent. Right. So tell me how this affects an agent. Okay, so this is what it says. NCAA's new agent criteria will require a bachelor's degree, CBS Sports reports. According to John, whatever his name, the NCAA is adding new criteria for agents who wish to represent student athletes testing the waters for the NBA draft. Many basketball fans are calling this the new Rich Paul rule. I feel like the NCAA will not make a rule that affects no one. So basically what you're saying is this rule affects no one. That's not possible, man. All right, cool. So say they... They enter the portal or the draft thing or whatever. And then comes about, they might be a late first round, early second round pick. If they think they're going to be that pick, Mm -hmm. why the fuck do you care what the NCAA says? Because you're never going back there. They can't stop you. They can only say that you can't come back. Mm -hmm. And that's what they can do. And that's what they're saying by testing the waters. Because, of course, some people could test the waters. But you test the waters with not an agent. It's well, a, it's a rule. They changed the rule. If they I, changed that rule that if you went to the draft and you didn't get drafted, you could go back. Remember even with the Man, if I'm Rich Paul, I go sign up to one of these fucking prof, uh, for profit fucking colleges, give me a fucking degree in TV watching, mm-hmm. and what's up? Because right. they didn't say what the bad Somebody said is. he was going to take them same. Uh, you still got to have some kind of. Courses that Duke players. But you do have to. <laughs> <laughs> but the, it's, it's, it's more than that. Bad they, make you, they, make you take a, uh, they make you take a test there, or like an in person test, as well as you have to have like three years of studying with them as well. So they're That's making fucking, it. I got just, experience. I just, I just think. That I, trumps all book work. That's what Chris Paul said. Now, experience trumps all of that. Well, and I was just going to say, like, if I'm an NBA player and I'm trusting. Shit, I'm trusting Todd. You know what I'm saying? Well, my career. And I'm going to him and I'm saying, hey, I want you to be... Like, let me... I don't give a fuck about my age and my dad, my mom, my right. little cousin, or whoever the fuck it is. That's why I'm picking as a representation. Now, don't be get me careful. wrong. Be yeah. careful. Uh, Rich Paul should be able to be an agent for anybody that he wants to. Based off experience alone? Based right. off experience and what he does. Like, shit, he could put you on the Lakers and you ain't supposed to be there. Right. But I just... By the law... You know, sometimes laws have, you know what I'm saying, consequences that wasn't supposed to be. I can't see how this targeted to him when it really doesn't affect him because he's top tier. He's not fucking with lower tier Hey, I get that. But would you get upset about some shit that has no effect on you whatsoever? No. You wouldn't. So you think that millionaire, damn near billionaire, will LeBron James, Rich Paul, would get mad at a rule that has nothing to do with him? Also... Like, I haven't it. heard anything that Rich Paul said about it. LeBron went crazy about it. You LeBron, think LeBron's going to go I'll, crazy about something I'll, that's not affecting his man? Also, one thing I commend LeBron about, he's all about social issues. So he will bring that up. Mm-hmm. Like Trayvon Martin, like, uh, I can't breathe. Like, he does that much better than Michael Jordan puts ass in that Damn. situation. <laughs> yeah, because he, he said Republicans buy shoes too, so I'm staying out of that. So in that area, LeBron is killing him. But LeBron does that. That that is what LeBron does. So I get why LeBron is saying that, but I can also disagree where, okay, this is not for uh, Rich Paul. Yeah. 
Um, I don't know. We talking about that. I, I, shots out LeBron, man. He got his homeboy Maverick Carter sitting down with Magic Johnson, uh, getting all kind of dope interviews. Got the shop. He always being talked about. Now we got his other homeboy, Rich Paul, being talked about. Like, that's all off the power and back on the LeBron, man. So, uh, shots out to him. He's putting his people in position. Uh, empowering the people that's around him. And and they go to other people that's around other people. Like, if your homeboy got some power, man, be an asset to him. Don't don't just be there leeching off of him. Exactly. Like, make exactly. yourself powerful and, and, and to help his brand. And not only help his brand, helping his brand helps you too. So, yeah. Be useful, nigga. Yeah. Moving on into the dummy of the week. <laughs> dummy. 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 Bitch. Stupid little shit. Um... One time, Ohio University standout DJ Cooper uh, was suspended uh, by the FIBA. Uh, according uh, to a report back in 2018, Cooper's two-year suspension came after a drug test administered by the governing body found that Cooper was uh, revealed to be pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> yes. How many months? The How many male DJ you? Cooper uh, was found out to be pregnant. How many uh, according to reports, uh, my man had to take his drug test. He used uh, he was a urine man? from a friend, uh, a female companion, and that urine turned out to be uh, positive for pregnancy, which came back to reflect on Cooper. Mm. I don't know if y'all saw this story, but uh, what do y'all think? My man just tried to hoop, and I wonder if he figured out how many months he or she is. <laughs> if it's I his. wonder if the baby is his. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Is it, if it's his, that's going to be the bigger question. Like, man, I strapped up, and you my girl. <laughs> hey, but what if you used that? Hey, it's, your, it's your old lady, but you used her urine uh, to get it, but you ain't been crushing raw like that, mm -hmm. and you, you find out, out that your mm. urine test, oh, that's fucked. You been, got suspended and found out your girl been getting crushed. <laughs> and now you depressed and shit. Damn. Damn. Sorry, homie. <laughs> That's the coldest lose, one. Lose. Big dummy. How many months are you? <laughs> hey, but what's crazy? What's crazy is I I had a I had a, a homeboy that that happened to. I ain't gonna call him out or say no names, but I had a homeboy that tried to use his you know old lady urine and it came back that he was pregnant. Was it his though? Huh? Was it his baby? Yeah, in this case, yes. Okay. But he tried to use it like a week or two after she had just had the baby. And it still showed that she was pregnant because it's some hormones right, that come right. out of the placenta that still is showing in the urine. In Damn. Yeah, so. <laughs> but for, like, so it like, looked like a lot of stuff happening over weed. Like, why are they doing the pregnancy test, though? They're not. They, they, when they, I don't know. That's a good question. <laughs> like, these test males. Them, I guess that's part of it. It'll, maybe they pull up some shit that shows, hey, you don't have no weed in you, but you're pregnant. Hey, man. I guess that's just part of it. Hey, man, have your homeboy like me. Like, you I'd might, had I'd had to urinate in a lot of uh, water bottles. You might be your shit might be a little diluted right now. You might have tons of contact. No, <laughs> yeah, because my, my shit always worked. Yeah. I was around yeah. a lot of it. I just didn't smoke it. Yeah, but I'm um, selling because my because shit on the black market. So just because you're around, they, it don't mean they gave his ass a good ass suspension. He's suspended until June of 2020. Shit, jeez, yeah. full year. I you guess got a whole year for weed. Mm -hmm. Well, probably the lies and the deceit part yeah. of it too. Oh, yeah. That had a lot to do with it. Yeah, nigga, like that too. <laughs> nigga, you pregnant. Yeah. They gonna but it's not, it's not just ma weed. Nigga. Nigga. If it was just weed. Oh, the maternity leave. Right. Right. You got a little nine months in here. <laughs> yeah, maternity leave. Hey, you pregnant, nigga. Right, you yeah. pregnant. Yeah. You, go yeah. raise your kid. Shit, right. Go sit down for nine, um, nine months. But yeah, for that, Mr. Cooper, uh, you are the dummies. Dummy of the week. And you pregnant. Dummy you. You bet you. And trust me. You with child. Right. Um... Other than that, there's any other uh, stories or things we got to add in there? Absolutely. Rest in peace, Tony Morris Morrison. Uh, unfortunately, we oh, had to yeah, go back yeah, here. Yeah. Um, yes, sir. Arthur, um, award-winning uh, Nobel Peace Prize, literature, Pulitzer Prize winner, Presidential Medal of Freedom. The list goes on. So, Champion of black women. Uh, right. Yep. That was always dope to see. You know what I'm saying? Our books be everywhere. We yeah, talk so. shit about, you know what I'm saying, black women, but we all married to a strong black woman. Love them to death and wouldn't go no other way. So, shout out to her. Shout out to her. I yeah. tell my woman she white, though. She super light-skinned. She get mad when you tell her she white. Though. Hey, with that. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my, he had his own. Yeah. I ain't, I ain't mm. know what they're. That cliff with you. Fuck, you told my scooter? <laughs> 
And that's what you're going to get. Mm-hmm. But, hey, man, uh, we lost a real one. Yeah. Yeah. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. And the other things we left off. Rick Ross album out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's time. It's We've been waiting for the longest for so this. So we finna get rid of it. It's yes. out. It's out now? Yeah. Yeah. Ah, I'm it's out. 30 minutes back to clear. I don't have to listen. You gonna listen to the whole fucking album on the way home. It's out. <laughs> yes, sir. Don't y'all nigga call me, text me. I'm I'm jamming the Ross. I'm about to listen to this shit in the shower. In Can the you shower. hear it? Can you hear music in the shower fully? Yeah. I think I can hear all the words and he shit. probably got a Bluetooth speaker yeah. in his shower. Inside the shower? He's super loud, yeah. Okay. See? You got money. Yeah, shots out. Mm-hmm. That Ross nigga rich. Put your uh, ears on it. A uh, Bluetooth speaker is about nineteen dollars. Not right a now. shower. We Bluetooth definitely gotta speaker. um g- get into it next week. No, mm-hmm. Bath and Body uh, Body Works sell one for fourteen ninety nine. Bath and Body Works huh? speaker. Mm-hmm. You be you be in there shopping? Yeah, I love uh, them. I go in there. I go get the cameras. Because the cameras like, in the arm um, plug ins. Yeah. Gotcha. Especially when you have a wedding, you are gonna get a thousand gift, gift card cards from bed and can't and wait like, till I have a wedding. <laughs> Got y'all. How many more years? Been waiting for you. <laughs> How many more years? I don't know. I can't say because then she gonna hold me to it. Bath and oh. Body Works. I go in there and get them little plug in so quick and the candle to go with it. Hey, your shit smelling beautiful. Mm-hmm. I know Grace got on that shit. I, don't know. I go that. right in that bitch. Pick the scent. You can't let them pick the scent all the time. They pick funny and scent. Lavender. Yeah. Oh, we can't. Long as that shit. Lavender smell. sweet smell. melon flower. Cucumber <laughs> melon. <laughs> oh, get your ass hold with that shit. I be going to pick an apple pie to, to <laughs> make your ass know that you should bake some shit. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's so stupid. You won't jump into that, but you'll jump into that. Hey, don't, you, hey, don't that. tell her who to go get if he go to hot dog. No, like <laughs> vanilla, guy. There's some vanilla. Some vanilla. Bell, 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 bell. Vanilla. <laughs> Nigga, on that little bell, 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 bell. Sweaty back. <laughs> Hey, as long as it smells good. Who do you got it? Sweaty. Do you have an after workout? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nigga, it's called shower. Y'all, y'all ain't got nothing that smell like the gym in here? God damn. Who the, what the fuck kind of shit? like a up? fresh gym in the morning, God Let me get a uh, three sets of 10. <laughs> what that smell like? Let me get uh, two a day sweat uh, pants tarts, the football tarts. <laughs> Uh, do you have any gym bag? <laughs> <laughs> Sweaty sock. <man. laughs> Damn, who? Get them niggas off you. Yeah. I care nothing about it, man. And nobody's going to listen. Oh, so it doesn't. Yeah, they, they probably, probably not. Already... No, they ain't listening, nigga. Narcissistic, nigga. What's Narcissism. Um, is key. Other than that, we'll be back next week like we never left. Because like we say every week, we never leave. You dig? Um... R.I.P. Yeah. To my boy. Grip, man. Grip, man. R.I.P. Grip. Right on. R.I.P. Right grip, on. man. Rest in peace. We're going to miss you, bro. Prayers to your family, man. Well Prayers to your family, to your wife, to your kids. R.I.P. <laughs> Dummy. 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 Dummy.